I 5k one. Uh, the ones freedom use and uh, the mercenaries. Yeah. A really long boy. Yeah. Yeah, and you can have the Strelox one in Call of Pripyat. Yeah, it's like it's mega OP. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was, I like. I yep. love. I love the simplicity of like guns like the Mosin Nagant, but like only when they work decently. Like in the Misery sure. mod, like if you try to use that at range, it's just agonizing in every level. But like a real nice bolt action is so satisfying. Yep. Oh my god, a real nice bolt action is just you can't argue with one. Stalker two better have bolt actions. No, we we already have one. It's confirmed, right? The green one. In a screenshot. Uh, yeah, uh, Rem Re Remington 700, right? Yeah, there's, I saw one in a screenshot, the Bolty. But no more than we. I, could, I couldn't imagine they wouldn't have a Bolt at. Like, I couldn't imagine they're like, let's have less types of guns or, or take like something like that one away because it's such a classic. Like, I feel like every game, like, but, especially like ones that have like decent weaponry, like, you have to have the Bolt action. But then the originals never had a Bolt action, right? There, there isn't a Bolt. No, I don't. You're right. You're right. The the, the Shadow Chernobyl doesn't. Um... Yeah, no, I, I'm right. sure of it. I can, I can confirm there there's no bolt. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I was gonna say, I'm a Mosin. I was gonna, say, I was gonna say like not a Mosin. Yeah, I was gonna say for sure not a Mosin. I'm. Also, hello everybody. Like, welcome, hello. welcome, yeah, welcome to the oh, welcome yeah. to the stream. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw. Oh, bad, yeah. Tony, I just noticed you uh, photoshopped your own song. face into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I was debating on doing that too, actually. There, that, it's, That's it's, awesome. It's anomalous Who's Miss Minnesota? <laughs> That's Hell freaking yeah. beautiful. Your freaking eyes, dude. Your eyebrows are like. <laughs> if, you were, if you were a chick, they would they, you would have drawn them on like that. They're Bro, that high. I'm, the, I'm the bushiest boy in the zone. You're the bushes. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so welcome everybody man. to the stream. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we've got a few new guests for the, for the second episode today. Obviously, returning, we've got Anomalous and Kevin, the legends that you all love. Go ahead and say hello. Awesome. Yo, hey. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> now we've got two new legends with us today. We've got WTF headphones, aka Taryn. And we have the famous Lennox, who also is a fucking beast, bro. Like your clips, I was watching and when you snuck up on that one bandit, and you're like, "Oh, this is a good setup," and that shit went click, yeah. and you turned around. Oh, I was cracking Creamed. up. That was so good. Preempt yeah. the gems. <laughs> you can pick up guns that are jammed now. Like it doesn't get better. It's there's nothing there's nothing worse than those moments too because especially when you're so certain, and then you get that click, especially with mutants too, because there's. When they come at you, there's not much you yeah. can do when you're like waiting for them to get close and then that click happens. You're just like, son of a, you gotta be freaking joking. Yeah, you should wait until they get close. Uh, I'll, I'll do a small intro, I guess, uh, to the new one channel. Uh, I'm a Stalker fan only only since 2011. About, I started playing uh, the original games in 2011. I enjoyed the originals. I was like, okay, these games are cool. And then I, I touched Misery Mode and I was suddenly in love with the franchise. Uh, Misery Mode kept me engaged from. 2012 to 2018, like non-stop misery mode. And then I saw a normal mode and I just uh, I fell in love again with uh, the sample of nature. And that's 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 my whole story. I just uh, I stream stalker, I stream normal. That's I uh, a do crazy enjoy normal way to get into them too with that particular mod. Like the most unforgiving example. Yeah. That, like even back then they were like, don't play this unless you're a super fucking veteran of the originals and everything, so uh, I, I respect the shit out of that, because I I, mean, nowadays yeah. I jump in a game, I turn it on hard mode immediately. You just if, I can imagine we're just like, I don't know where I am, I don't know who, who I am, all I know oh, is no. that I must survive, and I must kill. Yes. Uh, PewDiePie played it too. Like, he played it in 2013 or 14. Yeah, directly on the Misery mode as well. I've yeah, he it. never touched Stalker, and he went directly into Misery mode, and it was the funniest thing, I swear. Yeah, and, but I cannot find a video. Like, oh bright. no! <laughs> I cannot find those videos, the originals. It's a shame. That's but fucking yeah. sick. Taryn, you want to give us a little bit of history? You've been doing a lot of videos for Stalker for a long time. Taryn has been doing let's plays, all kinds of Stalker content. But I will allow her to go ahead and introduce. Yeah, I uh, it, yeah, so uh. My YouTube name is WTS Sexy Headphones. Real dumb. I know I made it when I was 19. Don't judge. Anyway, um, 
I've been doing YouTube since like 2010, 2011 or so. Um, and I started with, I think, a Oblivion Lost Let's Play, I think was my very first Let's Play on. on I think Oblivion... I think Crazy. Oblivion Lost was my very first Let's Play I've ever done on uh, YouTube. Um, and and pretty much honestly, if I'm being honest, like I'm an old Ted. My my YouTube channel is very stale and very like it's very like it's just mainly Let's Plays and stuff like that, random ass vlogs. Um, it's 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 just like real basic. If I'm being perfectly honest, <laughs> just keeping it modest. It's just yeah, no, I, I mean, like, realistically, like, like, say, like, with your stuff, Tommy, like, you do, like, a lot of, like, good editing and stuff, and if I'm being perfectly honest, like, I'm a lazy bitch, and I'm just, I don't have the energy anymore, like, I hit 30, and I just felt dead inside, sent. like, my energy just dropped, so, I'm, like, for me, I'm, like, I mainly just stick to, like, Let's Plays and stuff, so, like, obviously doing, like, uh, uh, Gamma right now, um, doing, uh, Call of Perpiat Vanilla, sure. I'm... And then doing uh, anomaly with yet another winter mod, which oh nice. I feel on. Yeah. So what, I, so what I'm <laughs> hearing is you became a more authentic stalker as time went on. <laughs> I, just, I just you yeah. know like like so I I actually plan on doing um if you guys remember uh Iggy he goes by Judson I think I always call him Iggy but uh we would we did zone sportsmanship challenges back in the day back when OC my toaster uh was a big thing on um I hit 30 and now I feel content. dead inside and we plan She's I plan on refreshing things up with him we're gonna do some zone sportsmanship challenge which I'll challenge you guys to because our circle with that was pretty small at that time um so I'll I'll be challenging all of you guys to some sportsmanship challenges, and we'll see about doing that. But other than that, it's just like basic ass let's plays, and just like let's go through gamma blind and see how that works out. I'm ready cool. for challenges. I what was it? Uh, They're we fun. went through um the whole act. Well, we no, we knew the Xbox conference. We weren't going to get anything. There was another one that we did before then. I think it was TGA or something. I can't remember exactly. But we didn't get any stalker, and I was like so heartbroken. So we decided to do a knife only run. And so I'm like, oh. long, long story short, it was a nightmare. And I'm at the end in the CNPP oh. trying to like run up that like last set of stairs. And it was so bad. I had like no more med kits or anything left. And I'm like, just like trying to juke the last guy who's just got a fucking <laughs> gauss like, rifle. Die. I'm like trying to like dodge the fucking blue lasers. There's not, it wasn't going to happen. I got so exact, mad. I was ready exact, to like exact. eat the wireless mouse into the fucking wall. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try that again, but I, I love fucking challenges so much. Yeah, and and they'll be wild. Like, I can't I can't remember some of them, but some were, like, knifing stuff. Some of it was, like, uh, grenading um, snorks in midair, like, grenade trying to grenade launch snorks in midair. Um, I think one was trying to headshot um. or snipe them in midair and stuff like that. Um, I can't remember. I think, like, some other stuff might have been, like, knifing chimeras or something. I can't remember at all, because, like, this was, like, such a while ago. Um, and Iggy recently put up like, I, like he's so much quicker with content than I am. He recently put up a bunch of videos of different types of like challenges. So I have to look at them. He's just, he's so fast when it comes to that crap. And that dude's mind like works like this. Like it's all over the place. Uh, I recently learned that the Gauss rifle can shoot through several layers of walls. Right? So that was very useful for uh, challenge runs. Yeah. Well, so I was going to say, I heard I have, sniping snorks, so I was like, Lennox going to take that challenge real quick. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I have an ID for a challenge that I think nobody has attempted before, or at least not on YouTube. That is mm. uh, explosive only run. Uh, you can only oh, use explosives. And that was well, No knife? I, I attempted it for Shadow of Chernobyl and... And no knife, no knife, only explosives. Grenades, RPG, uh, Bulldog, and I guess, uh, you know, under barrel grenade launchers. So I guess that first That's step, difficult. you could grenade them by the, the like the, the barrel and probably get a couple kills. But then the rest of the guys in the camp, yeah. like you have to like, well, like, well, what, like push them into a corner and then grenade them. That's insane. Well, the two most difficult parts are the beginning and the end. Yeah. But mm. I'm not spoiling you, but you will have to be very smart about grenade usage. And okay, I'm just gonna spoil one one small thing. There's no grenades in the cordon. There's no grenades in the yeah. cordon. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all coming together. Yeah, that's brutal. Ha. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can't do the intro <laughs> until you go to the mid game to collect ammo to go back yeah, and do the just, intro. Yeah. 
like, holy crap. Yeah, just like, let me sprint towards like what the garbage, maybe. Yeah. Holy yeah, garbage. Yeah. Make a note of this so. challenge. That's actually insane. Sprint to the garbage and, uh, holy crap. Yeah, that's. Half There's the a spot in the garbage where you can always get grenades. There's a spot in the garbage where there's 100% spawning Oh, grenades, explosive barrels in the corner. Spartan, you would have to, like, fuck with the AI so hard to get them to go near it. But then how do you trigger the barrel? Can't use anything except another yeah. explosive. Well, you'd have, to, you, you'd you have, you'd have to use a grenade and just hope that you could expand the explosive radius. So that way, like, because, like, a lot of the times, like, with the grenades, I don't know about you guys, I tend to find myself not using them, but, like, I always seem to, like... Never, I don't know. I'm terrible with grenades. I either hit myself or I'm like, I take 20 just to like hit, like, kill like a few mutants or some shit. So I find like I don't use, so like a grenade run, like I just, I'd kill myself half the time, I think. I'd be up for it though. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's definitely nope, worth sure. an attempt. That makes the knife run sound oh, like yeah. a walk in the park now. Yeah, yeah uh, I, mean, I don't yeah, know. I think it's different. In the beginning, it's just like a, a different strategy, you mean? Yeah, I mean, uh, the mid game is actually pretty, pretty Pulse fun. Grenade like, pin. I was having fun. Throws pin. And <laughs> grenading everybody. You just, like, have your inventory, no weapons in the inventory, just, like, full stacked of grenades. So, the middle game is pretty fun, but mm -hmm. yeah, the beginning is tricky and the ending is painful. Do you do the Sakharov the thing exploit is... in Lake Yantar? No. <gasps> That's even more that wild. Exploit. That's incredible. But, like, the ending is very difficult because grenades are actually heavy. So before you do the last run, you have to, like, full load your inventory. Oh, yeah. Entry, and there's a limited so amount of grenades that you can take to the CNPP. Yep. So I managed to get, like, to the monolith, the bad endings. Yeah, you have, you have absolutely have to use the exoskeleton. No Aww. doubt about it. Just chucking grenades. <laughs> so, You're just literally yeah, basically. Like a freaking walking demo, like yeah. a big ass walking freaking tank demo. Jesus. Yeah, so I managed to get to the monolith, so the bad end. Oh, yeah, just getting done. The bad ending is the grenades, best ending. So when I couldn't you go for the. the game. I want so, to does it explode. count for the challenge? Or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no true yeah, ending in the equation like... when you're doing that challenge. That's just masochism. <laughs> yeah, it's, what, it's whatever one you can get. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd be like drowning in the coins. About oh yes, let me yeah, die yeah, in these pipes right now. Like I did it. I fucking made it to the end. Like let's go. And be thankful we're doing this for Shadow of Chernobyl and not Clear Sky. Actually, well, if only yeah. they had some sort of Call of Duty fucking chuck their grenades back, then the tables would turn so fast. Yeah, I know, right? Because they throw so many grenades in clear sky that they don't drop any inventories. They just... do they? Yeah. And and the, the thing about clear sky is their grenades are pretty effective. Yours are not <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah, it's yeah, I, know, I know this. They will shoot Straight you the 200 rounds. Is... You will shoot them in the head. They will not have three bullets left on them every fucking time. <laughs> Just no convenient. bullets, yeah. no meds. You can fight, yeah. fight them forever. They'll somehow have absolutely nothing every single time. But you don't be wild with Clear Sky is... ...being a pistol run in vanilla Clear Sky. That would probably just be... Uh. Great. Well, I imagine eventually you would learn... <laughs> I imagine eventually, if you did it long enough, you'd kind of figure out your kind of aim I, with the pistols, I would think. It's just just so weird it's over here. Like, here, like okay, here's your there's, pistol. <laughs> there's actually somebody who did, who did the clear sky run with pistols only. Mm. And there's, there's two problems. Yeah. Only two? There's the Limon's <laughs> Bridge section where you have to cover the marks. Yeah. Yeah, there are, yeah. <laughs> I mean, two major problems, I would say. Two major. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, that's awesome. So, yeah, the Lemons section where you have to cover the mercs lowering the bridge, it's just impossible oh, yeah. with the pistols. Mm. And, oh. uh, and the hospital where you have to take down the chopper. sniper the chopper. and machine gunner, I think. Uh -huh. No, I think the chopper you can if you have enough ammo. I think it's the sniper gun. 
It's like max right, pain right. without the bullet Machine time. You're just, you're just blasting forever at the sky. That's a that's brutal. Oh my god, be so tedious. On master? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah it's a pain. It's a pain. <laughs> Don't attempt this. <laughs> I'll pass. I, I can handle tediousness, but normally you're up to a certain level before it's just nah. That seems like that would take way too long. True. I don't know about that. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'd have, like... I have, like, some level of patience to do some real stupid shit in the zone that takes longer than, like, doing it better, obviously. But, like, pistoling a helicopter, I just don't think I have that level of patience. That just... I think that's well above what I can. <laughs> I think that's well above, like... Yeah. I wonder, like, how long would that take? Like... It's a little, it's a little time. I don't know. I mean, it's probably thirty minutes or something I, like that. I, yeah, I so. can test it if you want. <laughs> uh, I also do it. I I also did uh, no armor clear sky run and like that no armor. That doesn't really matter though, right? I mean, die so quick in that game. <laughs> or mass difficulty. So actually, yeah, that's what I noticed. Like with or without armor, it doesn't make Just much a weight difference. Just penalty option. But the, the 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 main difference is that you cannot use artifacts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. And that's pretty bad. Yeah, no stamina, no care weight. Yeah, that sucks. All right, so I know that we're we're, we're gonna get into Linux impressions of the demo here in a moment. So I'm I'm curious though. I I'm not sure if I've had the chance to ask you, Linux. Are you familiar with like the thou that shall not be named, like the thing that everybody knows about that happened with Stalker Two? And have you seen it? Could you? Do you have any comparisons to the demo as far as like? No. No. I avoided that. I actually avoided it. Okay, I don't well, want to get spoiled. No, no, no. That's um. I I like I like that we're only gonna get like just this pure distilled demo perception. Yep. But I was curious. I just wanted to clarify on that because I wasn't sure if there would be any crossover with that. Nope. Solid. Nothing. Solid. All right. Now this is this is where everybody's just kind of like you know like just just like before you know take walk us walk us through it. You could literally describe yeah. the blades of the grass, and we're all just gonna be like pretty chubbed. So by, by all I, means, <laughs> yeah, man, I'll just describe it. It was um, I guess first of all, I'll paint the image. the The, the booths are obviously on 4K monitors, and the monitors are pretty big. For my taste, they were way bigger than my current monitor, and I'm sold like a uh, more than a meter away from the monitor. So the monitor in the demo is like it was like 50 centimeters from my face, and way bigger. So I wasn't used to that. Mm. So, however, visually, I, I could tell the game ran smoothly. The frame rate was a bit butter smooth the whole time through. The whole game was so smooth. However, uh, like visually, graphically, you know, I can't really tell um, how it really looks. But anyways, let, let's go back to the... I was just painting the image of the, uh, the booth. But uh, yeah, you start out, uh, basically, you kick the dog off you. Yeah, I, I'm trying to... Let's, let's go slower then. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you get no the rush. opening, you get the little opening, uh, you kick the dog off you, you saw in the trailer, you saw the dog being kicked off you in the trailer. That's where you start out in a demo, and the guy talks to you, he's sitting on the, the little cliff. Richter. He talks to you, you, you say, hey, why, why would he need a bolt? Uh, take this bolt, man, uh, etc. The dog, you kick the dog off you, you basically have uh, four to five, maybe six uh, springboard anomalies around you. Welcome. I think the springboards are pretty good tutorial anomalies because uh, they have a very low, um, like you throw a bolt on them and they discharge. They specifically say they discharge and then the discharge happens. And then you can walk through them safely for, for like two, three seconds. Seems uh, like a good tutorial uh, anomaly. Is and it like honestly, electric on the molly or? No, it's the it's a springboard. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gravitational type. However, the, the damage, like again, then I actually uh, actually walked into one of them by accident, and the damage I took was kind of weird. It felt placeholder, honestly. It, it felt like I, I grazed the anomaly, and it, it took a little bit of health off, and that's all it did, which mm. might or might not be in the game. You might actually get pulled in and die, or you have this little this little grazing hit uh, thing where you lose a little bit of HP. It didn't like I know physically those... pull you in any direction or anything like that. No, I didn't. I mean, I didn't retouch. Really I didn't really go into it. It was um. You like great. It, it was it. weird. I, 
Yeah, I grazed it. I mean, it's a springboard, so I, I discharged it. And then I, I grazed it while I was discharged, but a little bit too early, I think, and I lost health. And oh, so honestly, it's like it an felt... area of effect. It has yeah, a it was... bit of an area of effect outside of like the main gravitational yeah, part yes, of sense. the anomaly. Mm. Honestly, it, it, I do got to say, it felt a little bit placeholder. Like, uh, it, it had a graphical effect. Like, my character, it, it could have honestly been a side effect of... Something we don't know yet, maybe a psi, a psi side effect, but your character felt like your vision distorted a little bit uh, okay. going through that. Oh, cool. Quick question. I'm so, curious. I know it doesn't seem like maybe it's like an important detail, but like, would, did they like yeah. prepare the game behind the curtain before they sat you down to play it? Did you see yeah. the menu? They click new game and then the, the camera just kind of fades in from black into the scene with the dog? Or like, did how, how much of that was like polished and prepared versus like what did they allow no. you to see because I, I i i know you'll continue getting into it but like i have heard that obviously like the demo had crashed on a few individuals so i'm just yeah, curious crashed for opening, me too I, i'm curious what the opening presentation of it was no opening at all they just say go you know they show you the the, the opening screen is a uh uh button prompt menu like all the button prompts the moment mm. you click escape you're kicked into the cutscene oh okay okay and also, what is important though that the fact that I only got to play for 14 minutes, yet the time between between waves of people that would play that were in a queue, like I was standing in a queue for, I would say the queue moved every 30 minutes, and yet they let people only play 14 minutes. So it's it's very slow and very it felt very clunky and awkward. Uh, honestly, the wait times were very long. Um, there was a picture that showed um, what looked like two rows of computers. Yeah. W was that literally like yeah. all they had for the whole presentation? Yep. That was it. Oh wow! Two rows. So there were ten spots, I think. On each side. Five on each side. Five on oh, each side. Shit. Maybe so maybe like a ten six. people every thirty minutes. Yes. Mm. Yes. It's insane. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I can see why do people you, were waiting. Do you know? Um. Like I I don't know if anyone asked, but like difficulty wise like i'm assuming like this is just like your normal base level difficulty in the demo and i would imagine i'm i don't know if anyone asked that question like yeah or or because like i'm assuming obviously like you said you hit escape just to immediately launch into it so it's not like you can hit escape and be like let me put it in master real quick or change it or anything like that um, no. I, I would think if it's a demo that it's probably got to be in, in in like your normal uh difficulty but i was just curious of like if anyone asked like the, uh, how they had it set as far as that goes the escape menu was uh just a bottom pro menu so when i press escape you get a bottom prompts that's it Mm. But uh, I could pull up my PDA and uh, select objectives and look at the map. But I could feel the game was on novice. I, it was a uh, low difficulty, of course. Yeah. It just felt yeah. very low difficulty. Yes, yeah, for those game reviewer guys, is to be too difficult otherwise. Yeah. However, the bleed <laughs> I noticed that the majority of the damage I took was from bleeding, and the bleeding seems to be static. Like the bleeding took away chunks of my health every time, very quickly. The bleeding was pretty deadly. Mm. The, um, so I'm wondering if. Again, the bleeding doesn't scale off difficulty, and that's where the majority of damage was coming from, because you got hit by a dog, and then a dog takes away like one, one tenth of your HP, or like let's say one eighth, and the bleed afterwards would tick for like one fifth of my HP. Oh wow! So, like yeah, pretty potent bleeds I've noticed. Were you experiencing yeah, white blocks where if you didn't like bandage quickly enough, like apparently you can't heal past that point until you? Or, 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 no, I didn't notice that. Didn't have anything like that. I. I, I couldn't tell. I honestly, I remember taking a lot of damage and healing up to full HP. I was fooled by the end of it. Mm. When, when you would heal, was it just the, the bandage for the most part? Or did you have like the syringes? Yeah, we had a bandage. Uh, we had the, the AL2 medkit, which uh, was a syringe animation. Like, you had the bandage animation, of course, and when you use the AL2 medkit, it would pull out the syringe and inject yourself with it. There was animation for that. Oh, I see. Uh, it was the energy drink animation, the vodka animation, and the syringe animation for the uh, medkit. Were they quick, and... like we saw in the Bolts and Bullets trailer, compared to like Come to Me? It seemed like everything's like a little bit snappier. Yeah, it, it, it felt quicker. It did felt snappy. Should I um, should I walk uh, through a bit more through the demo or? Yeah, um... yeah, like right yeah, where we sure. Sorry, like we, it's we, we get fragmented with these thoughts, and I'm we, sure like we get we afraid so to lose them. Yeah, so many questions. We're like, we if only we could be there, man. Yeah, we gotta live through you. And that's good. So you walk out of the normal field, uh, you come across, uh, very weirdly enough, uh, a big little bit of open area with a shack, not much to loot. I uh, looked down. Again, I, was, I felt rushed because I felt like I wanted to go fight some bandits. 
But anyways, I looked down on the ground near a shack, and it was a military corpse. It said Lieutenant, uh, generic name. Uh, I think he had a mackerel and some rounds and bread on him. I looked at the bread, I ate the bread. I saw no animation, nothing happened, no, nothing moved. So I'm, I'm guessing they disabled uh, thirst and sleep and uh, you know the need for hunger and sleep during the demo. That kind of makes sense. You don't want to do that during the demo. So I just moved on. I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, I moved on. I walked maybe for 30 seconds. No, I walked through a gate. And again, the gate had the normally. Again, you have to discharge the normally. It was like one of the gates, like garbage hanger. Um, this gate you have at the gar- garbage hanger. When you go out of the entire building, uh, the complex, the gates around it, one of those gates, and it was a springboard in front of the gate. So you have to discharge, you have to discharge it, and you have to go through it. So again, a tutorial, just like to uh, force you to do, um, you know, repetitive tasks, so you learn them. And um, yeah, past that, uh, that's why I got hit. So I noticed a little bit of health damage I took, even though I discharged it beforehand. And um, yeah, and then. Basically, you walk past that, and it's just a road that goes up, uphill. It goes up a hill road, and there are a bunch of dogs. So finding dogs is very fun. I mean, so I'll, we can stop, and uh, you can ask some questions in a little bit. We we're finding the dogs. Uh, the dogs were attacking other loners. They were loners. The dogs were mostly targeting loners uh, because I was staying pretty far away. But there seems to be a priority system where it doesn't. You know, you're not getting the player character wasn't getting prioritized over the other loners. That's good. And I was killing, uh, you know, killing field dogs or five, six dogs uh, with a double barrel shotgun. It was fun to fight them. Felt satisfying. The dogs were going down in one buckshot, hit to the, you know, chest area or sideways. Uh, they were running sideways. Shot them in the, you know, the side. They died in one hit, one buckshot. Felt good. And uh, basically, I killed the dogs. Loners thanked me. Okay, but at that point, I did actually crash. So at that point, the first time through, I killed the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I crashed. That My game crashes. Experience. Yeah, we just peaked. Yep. <laughs> oh gee. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, gee. And it ain't stalker without the bugs and the crashes, man. Yeah, but it makes uh, sense. Like, you can imagine though. I was I was waiting. I was basically waiting for six hours, and my game crashes four minutes in, four to five minutes in, <gasps> and I have to redo the last. I have to watch the opening cutscene again, which opening cutscene takes a minute, and I only have thirty minutes in the boot, so I got kind of. Piss, you know, and after that point, I redid the whole dog stuff real quickly. I sprinted to the dogs, killed the dogs in 35 seconds. Uh, talked to the NPCs again. Run. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> ran it. I did it all again. I skipped through the loner dialogue. I heard in my mind, I heard someone, someone the loners mentioned bandits. So I heard bandits. What I do, I instantly press my uh, PDA, which by the way, the PDA pulls up a 3D menu, obviously, a 3D animated PDA. But then when your character pulls up the PDA to their, to their face, uh, it swaps to a 2D uh, overlay after you pull it up. So they might need to finish the PDA um, um, uh, menu. Mm. But uh, the menu looked decent. And I still instantly, what I instantly did to s- select Bandit Killing Quest, selected the Bandit Killing Quest, I started sprinting around looking for the bandits. I was getting, getting used to the compass because I uh, got confused. Mm. And I walked in circles for like a solid minute. And then I... Uh, yeah, okay. Basically that, yeah, we, we, we killed the dogs, I checked out the PDA, I checked out my animations, um, it felt good, the, um, the shotgun felt very fun to use, the uh, AKU, I didn't use it yet, but we'll go into the later, yeah, you can ask me some questions. Yes, I have a few, and I'm like, don't want to lose them, first question, when you had the dog encounter, I'm curious, like, when they would run, did it feel like a classic Shadow Chernobyl AI, and when they would turn... Did it seem like they had animations that were smooth for turning, or was it like just a forward animation that would just rigidly kind of shift? Is that where people no, say it was clunky, or does that part visually already seem like it's in a good place? It, it's it's hard to tell because if, if I'm going to ask, most of the time they were running at the other NPCs, so I was looking at them from the side. Uh, they, they were I look at them sideways; it looked smooth and fluid. Okay, they, because I was they, they didn't look weird from a distance. No, it didn't look weird at all. I, I don't think so. off that question, um, with the dogs attacking the loners, did the AI, like, did the life system, like, did it look and feel very, like, I know, like, one of the biggest concerns is that the AI system is not going to be as, um, as fluid as they are in the other games. No. Um, um, did, did it still kind of feel like like the AI had that like fluidness about like 
Like, like, you know, like when you go into the zone, it always feels like there's legitimate life in the zone. People yes. are always like nothing like the NPCs aren't scripted into from besides like general AI you know? life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to tell based on, you know, several minutes. Yeah, but, I know. But I did notice that the guy was calling for help outside the building. And the moment they were getting pushed by multiple dogs, they started uh, running, backpedaling into the building. And they were both backpedaling in the building and they were trying to kind of hold the doorway. Okay. Were, were you able to uh, which talk seemed to natural. people about their demo experiences, like to confirm that that was just your experience versus, so you would know if it was scripted or someone else was like, oh yeah, I saw that guy calling for No, for see, I didn't. As well. uh, a lot of the people there, they spoke uh, not the best English and uh, it was mostly like German oriented. Oh, really? Uh, especially on the first day, on that day where I went, that was like the diehard German people living in Germany that, that went like the first day on the, the expensive ticket moment. Um, mm. I, I kind of felt that it was um damn respect they're hardcore uh also also it reminded me that i got friendly fired by the stalkers uh they were shooting at the dogs and it, i kept the dog between me and the stalker and i kept getting friendly fired by buckshot uh that was the thing i noticed you didn't return that, fire that so they didn't happen. like go hostile towards you that just happened to hit you right yeah they hit me i didn't hit them um Mm. They weren't like targeting kind of you explicitly, like, though. It was like, if you're in the like way. accidental. Yeah, I was just behind the dog. The, the dogs were like below. They were aiming downwards, but you know, maybe a buckshot here and there uh, went past the dog and hit me, which yeah. feels dynamic. You know, it feels like the old school, like messed up yeah. stuff that just happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Realistic yeah. side effects. That's cool. Um, I have a question about the PDA, but before that, I have to remark they didn't fully implement the bread. That That's not good. <laughs> yes, see, they, yeah. like, I knew like, you would talk the, about the bread. Like, it's the bread. They have to like. It was an animation. It was like our first visual we got was bread. Yes. Oh, really? so, like, what's the bread? Like, that that Sidorovich reveals when we get the bread. Don't you see? You got to see the greater arc here. That That's they we had a whole animation. Opening. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna have the bunker door open. It's gonna be Sid. He's gonna be like, "What have you got?" And just take a big old bite oh, out God. of the bread in 4K. And we're gonna be like, right. "Oh shit!" Nice. Get a get final release date. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, yeah. The classic I'd, I'd be happy if it was the classic sausage the sausage or the bread the bread's pretty yeah. classic but he had not that it matters he had meat the last time I could see Sid is, Sid looks like a sausage man he doesn't look like a bread right? hey, why not both yep. <laughs> I mean, he's got the after? full package right yeah he's, he's chilling in that else. bunker my man's gotta like his variety I mean what else has he got down there he's got a CRT tube and he's got the ocean 222 radio he's, he's just hanging out he's kicking it yeah Sid's got anything us dumbasses will bring him because we're like, we need the basic mission, Sid. We'll do what we need. Either you're all we got. <laughs> Willingly you're getting all we fleeced. Got, Scam right? Well, you're yeah. all we got, Scamrovich. Like, I don't know what else you want from me. We'll do what we got to do to survive in the zone. Yep. Yeah. So I had a question about the PDA. Like, yep. um, did you see the different, like, tabs in the PDA? Like, is there a tab about quest, a tab for the map, and maybe yeah. other tabs you saw? Basically, uh, I mean, obviously, it was placeholder, and I think they did on purpose to hide the map. Like, I, I feel like the 2D overlay we had in the yeah. demo was specifically made, cheaply made, to not show us the map and the official, like, all the tabs. You know, so you could just click them. It was like a yeah. cheap-looking overlay with only some task and uh, no map. It's just like Probably I think it was a journal. Demo. It was just okay, for the so demo. You had no map at all. Like you, you, you didn't yeah, no even have like a small map just for the area no, that no. was in the demo. Okay. No map, just a compass uh, and a selectable menu where you can select your task. So they really That's don't it. want people to so see was, like yeah, what the, the map world is out? like with the whole yeah. expansion gonna be. Yeah, because be. it's because it'll be very easy to like for uh, any fan like to take out a phone and take like snap off the map and just put it back yeah. your phone right. Yeah, That's kind of like what you want to avoid. How much did they watch yeah. you guys? Like, were they like sitting right over your shoulder when the game crashed? Yeah, like, yeah. Did like one of the guys sure. run over real quick and they're like, hey, yeah, don't worry about I this. Have the whole rec <laughs> I have the whole recording. It's like, I mean, I can describe to you when it crashed. I said the classic stalker. I had two people running up and saying, "No, we're gonna fix this next day. We're <laughs> we're gonna fix it tomorrow. No, we're gonna fix it in an hour." They were like really told that. I mean, I, I oh, you know, that's I'm, great. I'm afraid to say that. It feels a little bit insecure. I mean, it's, come on, it's you, can, you can laugh about it. You know, you don't have to uh, be so over the defensive. Um, I thought it was funny. I thought it was classic no, no, stalker. No, no, I, I, it's, like, it's I, I, there's all have... valid criticism. Criticism is valid criticism, but I could, I could totally see. There's, there's a, there's a number of possibilities, and all we could do is speculate. Yeah, like yeah. maybe, maybe they, they, they get a little bit like squirrely about that because they're, they're like, this is just the demo. We'll get more into like the, the reasoning behind this, but. 
I, the demo presentation, they don't seem to, to want to imply that that's what the state of the game is even currently yeah. like, of course at launch mm. but i think even currently this it's it, there's like a weird impression of like oh we were trying to mock this up so like please don't overanalyze it we just want your idea of like the basic it feels, combat loops and such it does feel very uh, last minute made like they weren't planning on even going to a gamescom for maybe previously like this wasn't planned i would say not even three months before gamescom even happened i feel like it's um the last minute this addition, <clears throat> especially based on the fact that their their gameplay trader didn't play on the first day on the opening night, where you, that's where you drop your big traders. Their gameplay trader like dropped, it slowly dropped in on like the third day. It was a, that just tells me that they, they didn't have the budget or they couldn't buy in the, to the first day. I mean, the first day uh, schedule was completely packed. It was completely full. And they couldn't just throw in a stock two trader. I, I'm just speculating. I I'm not sure, but. There's definitely compared. It's... Yeah. Sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, continue. Okay, compared to like say Payday Three, um, I feel like they're on par with Payday Three. Like Microsoft, like a big, big game. Microsoft, uh, Starfield, they weren't on the first day. They just weren't there. Even though they should have really done it. That that's all. I'm just. Yeah, and and if you think that it was like like a rush thing, maybe I mean again like a speculation, maybe it was like a like a moment of opportunity to go to Gamecom or something or like a last minute, like we really need to show presence, yeah. especially because like, you know, when we got Stalker 2 announced so many years ago, they literally told us, what was it? The first three years, you're not going to see anything. Like, don't yeah. expect to see any content in the first, like we announced it, but later, like bread was the, again, bread was the only thing we got, but, and I think that was because of a leak. So they gave us that. Yeah, they, got nothing else. they were, they were like, do not expect anything for three years. And it's like, again, like, you know, we get, you know, they're a small team. We get it and stuff like that. So it might like, like, again, like, as you mentioned with the demo where it kind of feels like it was put together, I'm, I wonder if it's also possibly pressure for the fact that to continue getting hype around a game, especially one that mainly just has veterans and a very niche, passionate community. Like, uh, you, you need to have a bit more presence, like, because obviously they're trying to get mo a bigger market for Stalker 2. So yep. it's like, you can't just... You can't do what initially was where just the veterans are watching the game and it doesn't matter that we have nothing for three years because we're like, it's Stalker, we don't give a shit, like, we're here. But now they have content out that they're showing the world, so it's like, they probably, at least I would think, they probably felt a bit of a pressure to, like, that That doesn't fly with, like, the main gaming community where it's like, you're like, yeah, we're going to tell you this is coming out, but we're going to give you virtually nothing, you know? So maybe it was, like, a, a means of pressure in a sense of, like, to start capturing other parts yeah. of the market. Like, we really need to show gameplay, let people touch it, and let people get invested in their own way. Yeah, I Microsoft also... also have their world to say about it. Like, they could say, yeah, I was about to say come on, like, come on, do something. Right? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, you could feel Microsoft, I mean, Microsoft invested millions into this. Obviously, yeah. they are invested. And, I mean, the, the booth, the you know, like, not to, to paint the image, the Stalker 2 booth was right opposite of the Starfield booth. Mm -hmm. And Starfield booth was obviously the most hyped thing there, there but is it's about. In, but it's um, in a prime space. Yeah, I would say so. Like, the Starfield booth was in a in the corner, it was like a, g a giant booth, and Stark 2 was right opposite of it. Um, and it's Microsoft's, you know, baby, like baby. It's their, it's their baby, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think in a, in, a, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways they are stuck between like a rock and a hard place because back when they had less to show, they did more with marketing. You could tell they kind of yeah, had I, like a, they had a consistent um, plan. Like as, in the early days, it was the cipher. It was like honestly like this minimal string along like with this weird puzzle. It was better, yes. And Overall. yeah, and then um, they did, and you can see it on Instagram because they've got almost like a history timeline. Well, yep, I, I love that. I love the uh, pu paste, the glue together images. It looked really good. Yes, and they they showed like the the old bandit building, the camp, the yep. car lot before and after, and it was like, oh, you could like see like this. Love that. Yeah, this amazing vision That's for the game, cool. and you were wondering how they they might incorporate like the past before, like with the maybe the origin of the incident or something like that. But they would have this to like tease us and string us along. And ideally they were like, okay, well this is how we're gonna like keep hype and keep momentum while we mm -hmm. develop the game. Obviously these games take a long time, you know, it's like six or so years. 
and of course, yep. obviously, you know, everybody knows like the, the the war happened, and that throws all all things off um, as far as them being able to like prepare public material that they feel is polished. Because no one's gonna argue. Like I've heard it a million times. The bolts and bullets trailer is not reflective of like how the demo felt for people. Like even like yeah, yeah, I, yeah I mentioned this too. Like uh, first of all, the the most obvious one is the frame rate. In that trailer is awful. I don't know what the, why you would release a trailer with a bad frame rate when you can obviously have the tech sport attack to run the game smoothly. That's I did just a the breakdown video, and I had the E3 2021 I was using for comparison at 60 FPS and the new one. Yeah. And even though I could tell like the animations looked better, the frame rate was I could tell struggling to show it. Yeah, that's just that's just a, a blunder. The, I think the demo was good, but the the, the trailer we have shown this year. I think that's uh, it doesn't really help. It doesn't really help sell the product too too much. It's a shame. I think it, the gameplay aspects, and I'll say this: this trailer had the fucking best sound design out of all yeah, of them. Of all course. of them. Like, come to me was really good. That's where I was like, yeah. oh man, you got me. I'm hot. I'm heavy. Then they drop this and the sound. I'm like still waiting every day. I'm like, I'm like, are you guys gonna upload the the music like you did for the last trailer? Because I need to play that shit on a oh, loop yeah. and just like close my eyes, sip on my coffee, and be like, six more months, baby. Like, just like hang in <laughs> yeah. there, hang in there. Med- like, meditate your way into the zone, astral project with that music straight into the zone. Exactly, because yeah. dude, they, they you yeah. could tell they they shifted the way they started to show the game, like in a lot of departments. But the audio is like, it's a, it, it's it's the best yeah, it's yeah. ever been. I'll give them it's that, crispy. especially for this trailer, the way that the way yeah, they're getting the music really well. from the. T- Getting the music from the trailer means we can, uh, you know, voice act it ourselves, you know, yes, in different we need, languages we, if we, we want. We need an anomalous French cover of that trailer stack. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the, um, I mean, audio, the music design, but also the audio design of the guns actually feels uh, very, very polished. The original, the original games, I replay them over and over. The guns sound so bad, honestly. Uh, I mean, not to mention they look bad, but. The gunplay, uh, you know, when I was shooting those dogs, the audio for the guns was like on par with the modern, modern molds and like modern games, very modern. The very AKU, cool. the shotgun, the macro, the sound was amazing. They had different layers, different sound effects, different, like the shots didn't just copy paste the same sound over and over. It was a, uh, specifically AKS, AKS, you know, the, the smaller AK, the handheld. Uh, the ejection I mean, ports look wild. They're all 3D. And when I was like slowing footage yeah. down, you can see in a slow motion every round ejecting. I was like, that's sick. I love that they yeah, keep the, the left side ejection because it's all dramatic for the camera and it's like the originals. But man, like, yeah, the I, I didn't even did to the guns. It's so good. I didn't even notice that, but I, I do know that the AKSU, the AKSU had the, the, the one of the best ungem animations I've seen oh, like ever. It's, I hope my character did. I don't specifically remember anymore, but I think he, like one of the bullets was stuck in the, in the ejection port. And he starts like I don't know if he touched it first, but he notices the character like looks looks to the side, and he like takes the mag out and like jams the bullet out with the mag, the bottom of the mag, and puts the mag back in. Like it, it's it has some uh, really nice flavor. Like it's not just it's not just uh, like a robotic motion that someone does. It's uh, there's a, like a motion capture of animations that he. Like, I wonder because use. I wonder because that one feels so so like distinct that it, it's probably not the same one every time because it was very distinct. Especially, yeah, because like especially if you'd have like a pistol or something like that, it wouldn't play the same if you tried that animation. I feel like it wouldn't fake. I mean, maybe, but that would be real neat if they had a couple of different animations depending on like the different weapons. Especially even like if you get into like the specifics of like, I uh, like some of like if they had specific animations for like the gauze rifle, not that. I think that really jams. Much. Yeah, You're that would be. That would be a bottle of water like on it. Says, Come on, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, cool it just starts like charging back up. <laughs> that, not in that way, obviously, but like I wonder if they'll have like if they'll try and do different animations for different weapons. Yeah, obviously not like a real, like not like a like a jammed with that one. But I wonder. I'm, I'm waiting like, for a Duracell like, like, promotion from yeah. from GSM uh, but, World right now for no, this no, rifle. I, I get that, but I, I think there are. Pack. So. I think there's actually several. I I feel like there could be several, maybe two or three. You know, not like ten, but like two or three sub animations that played on the same yeah. gun. You know, different animation on jams on the same okay. gun. Like, you know, the same gun. Yeah. But, and I I don't know if it, I, I can't confirm this, uh, but the, uh, the the barrel smoking might also be tied to a condition. 
because my yeah, gun started jamming sense. at the end and 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 i started smoking more i felt like my gun started smoking more i again it might be do full autoing your gun in the rain rain might affect it i don't know but the mm. smoke and durability felt like they were maybe uh again it was only like i only see my game crashed and now i was fighting bandits at the end we'll, we'll go into that but yeah the, did, the smoke did you feel and like the durability. rain increased the smoke versus fighting in a dry well, climate it did look amazing. I think everything looked amazing when it started raining. I think the whole game looked absolutely the most stunning I've ever seen. Like, did you have a, stunning... did you have a mask on? Like the little like did you have like the metro looking kind of no. mask on? Okay, no overlays. Cool. Basically. It was okay. No overlay okay. at that time. I mean, but, I mean, he's he he wearing the leather jacket. Right? In, in the beginning, he is. When you open no the inventory, yes, did you have, like, you a, have a take and head slot where you would be wearing something that like might? I'll see the in, in, as far as I remember, I looked at the inventory maybe one time. I didn't see anything at all. I didn't even see what armor I was wearing. I I don't oh, get checked. So you so you weren't even able to see like maybe, durability stats or anything of like the weapons and stuff. It sounds like right, like like did I'll it give see, you any info? Well, when I put up the, my radial menu, like the radial uh, menu with uh, all your like the radial menu, I have basically. I can. I have it pictured in my head. It's a wheel, basically a Far Cry wheel, which is obviously oh, for consoles, yeah. but that's fine because you have your mm -hmm. traditional one to nine hold keys. They're all working uh, on the on the demo. They were all working. You know, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull out all your weapons. It was nice. All, however, it's nice that you have a pistol. Uh, you know, a pistol, which is a secondary, and two primary weapons, which seems to be popular in all the soccer modes. You know, having a sidearm and two primaries, which in original, of course, you only had. Uh, a sidearm and one primary, which I think that that's like not not good. And um, yeah, it was the the, the sidearm two primary guns uh, in a wheel pattern. At the bottom were your mats, and to the side you actually had two separate buttons. I think it showed a uh, bolt uh, or the an only detector on the uh, uh, some far away left side and some the bolts maybe on the right side or vodka. Uh, but uh, again, the, the normal detector was actually weirdly enough. The normal detector was on hotkey number six or seven instead of being like O in the, the O key in the originals. I think you press it's O seven. or seven, yeah, seven. Yeah. Mm. seven in the demo. Yeah, yeah. And actually, just a quick question: you you do have infinite bolts like in the originals, right? Yes, Ooh, good I'm pretty sure, almost certain. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Uh, I was pretty sure that this was the case, but just no. I would hope they. I mean, honestly, I, I, I can't even. I can't even. I don't even remember looking at my inventory. I think I opened my inventory once, and I saw a bunch of bread and ammo, <laughs> and it, that's it. And I just all closed it because I couldn't see anything. Stalker life. So good. Yeah. I hope bread that they, instead of a randomized intro, how do you like, actually five pieces of bread and a macaron? That's it. <laughs> how do you yeah, actually um... bring up the the wheel to choose? Uh... Uh, I think. Example, the oh yeah, I guess. Is that tab key? I think it was. I think it was a Y key. Y key or okay. I don't remember exactly, but this brings up something really cool. Uh, this maybe maybe people are not gonna mention this yet, but when you press middle mouse button, I kept meshing it. Like I I saw middle mouse notes that did nothing, but I kept yeah. like pressing it over and over, and it pulled up the the web modification menu for the for the. It kept like highlighting the web modification menu on your weapon. And on the okay. Dolbert shotgun, I saw like five arrows pointing towards five different parts of the shotgun. Like five of these lines pointing with dot on your shotgun. Uh -huh. With like 3D elements. Um, and with empty squares above them. Like empty grayed out squares pointing towards the like crisis, elements on your weapon. Where it's got like the boxes where yes, you click to exactly put like crisis. attachments. Like, oh, interesting. I exactly were, did, did you get the impression that they were trying to restrict that menu and you were just yes, like it was really restricted. persistent but yeah I kept, <laughs> I kept clicking it but it it faded out in 0 0.01 second like it i love that it yeah. faded out but after i kept clicking it, i noticed it kept pulling back and i was like okay this this is gonna be something the gsc guy behind watching you he's like sweating yeah he's like key and peel like yeah, every time he's you're spamming he's the middle mouse button <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, he's not he's back, back in line <laughs> other game man yeah. Yeah. And so Don't so that would be the menu out. that would be the menu where you like put uh, like scopes on the go yes. and things like i saw on the double even on the double right shotgun right. i saw yeah. five different options i think it might have been placeholder because on the macro i saw five and on the aks use i saw five options Five of those little arrows pointing at different parts. I wonder if it's going to be five for all guns, if that's going to be a baseline setting, but... If they like, like, put an ACOG on a double barrel shock. Yeah, like a double barrel shotgun, a son of double barrel shotgun. That doesn't seem like there would be five attachments on it, but... 
if there are, that's going to be very awesome. Like a, a choke, maybe a choke, maybe a, a full stock. Maybe. No, what I'm actually honestly thinking is that the solid Laser shotgun point. is just the same as the full size one. And you just, you, you like extend the barrel. That, that could be an attachment, extending the barrel. Kind of like, oh, yeah, right, the, the assembly and the furniture. Yes, like, like Exodus. That. Yeah. Exodus, and like, yeah. I don't know, maybe you solve the barrel mid-combat and like you, you take off the barrel or on. I don't know how, how the animation is going to be. I don't know how you Some make it realistic. Some Terminator shit. You're just in an alleyway with a saw just yeah, like trying to <laughs> chop it down. Like, that would be all... I would think that would be cool, but I don't know how you reattach a barrel back to, on the shotgun, but... Yeah. Um, gorilla yeah, I'm feeling... Yeah, that's, I'm getting the feeling. Zone magic. Fire anomaly. I'm getting the feeling yeah. that this is the same gun. It's the same gun, but a, a different attachment. This is a full-size shoddies. Already beer chugging off cool. energy. Skiff can do anything in like three seconds. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't cover so I'm, wo I'm wondering, like, what, uh, what of the like with these upgrades? Probably some of them will be like attachable on the go, and some of them will be like tied to technicians, right? And I'm wondering, like, which one will we will be able to put on the go, and which one we can't? Because for for example. Uh, in the trailer, we see, I think it's the MP5, the Viper, right? Uh, yeah. There's the there's a rail on it, right? And we've seen it before without the rail. So I'm wondering if the rail is also an on-the-go attachment, so that if you want to put a scope mm -hmm. on the MP5, you first have to put the rail and then the scope, or if like the rail is something you have to attach with a technician. Yeah, I'm not uh -huh. sure, but that is yeah. I, noticed, I noticed that. It doesn't look that's like they're all going to have a rail by default. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they're both. In, in the, uh, I would love to see like certain upgrades to be mechanic and certain to be on the fly. Yeah, yeah, like the internal ones sense. could be technician, and then like for extensions, it would be kind of obvious. Yeah, like scopes and such and real. Yeah, I would. I would also like to see like vodka, just like the old days. Amen. Yeah. I would like to see four grips. You know, like something like a four grip uh, that you could put on or off. On. I don't know why you would take it off, but you could take it on or off on the fly, like. Um. In the trailer, we saw the HK416 with a foregrip, yes. but yeah. I'm not sure, yeah, if you're gonna be able to like put it on the go or not. I just I get a feeling with that same animation. I do get a feeling though, based on the fact that we're walking around the the fields and we're you know when we press middle mouse middle mouse, it shows five different options on your gun. I'm getting a feeling there is gonna be more than just suppressors, grenade launchers, and scopes. It's not gonna be just three. It's gonna be more than these three uh, grenade launchers, suppressor, scope. Yeah, maybe sense. it's gonna be a, a four grip. plus attachments. I think it was. Maybe yeah. lamps. Maybe it's gonna be, like be... Mag magazine. Like uh, you can maybe change like. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, the well. AKS. You're right. The AKS who had, had a double, you know, the double tape mag. You can. Mm. That's oh, probably one AK you could was, maybe. Was the double tape one when you reloaded? Yeah. Did Skiff flip it? Uh, in a trader, in a trader online, they showed the double tape mag. But when I played it, I don't think it had a double tape mag. Okay, so you're. Okay, yeah, so, that's what I mean. For your demo playthrough, you had I, like a regular mag. I had a regular one. The, my AKSU was unmolded. Oh, I'm ah. curious because I get the impression that like it maybe it takes longer when you don't have the double one, whereas like that first flip saves you some time. Yeah, it's uh, it saves you time. So I spoke Good. to somebody who also played the demo, and he told me that the double mag was something that he was able to have in his inventory. So... Oh, so in, in his inventory? Yeah, yeah. He might have looted it. Yeah. I, I yeah, don't know and, who. Yeah, uh, yeah, and he changed his weapon to an AK-74, uh, like... Uh, full size. Uh, M, you know, like full size, not the U one, and so he couldn't yeah. use the he couldn't use the double mag. So the double mag was probably just for the AKU. Oh, that's interesting. That's fair. I mean, that sounds cool. That does make that lines up because come to me shows the the seventy four U at the border gate assault, and that one was, yeah, was I, a shorter I, one with the double mag. I wouldn't even mind yeah, that. But I think game... Go ahead. Obviously, the two weapons have two different looking mags, so yeah, yes, it, it, it seems like the the double mag would be like weapon, yeah. weapons. Weapon specific. Uh, mm. so, so actually, I'm, I'm wondering if the, the if the sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here, but I'm wondering if the silencer, the suppressor, will also be like weapon specific or not? Because in in the originals, it's a it's a specific. universal suppressor. There you it, go. It was it was a universal suppressor that you could put on like all the calibers. That's like so a different one on there, each gun as yeah. well. Mm. Because well, the can that yeah. that um, Skiff puts on the the USP in the um, oh, yeah, yeah. the safe house or whatever does not look the same as the one he's firing on the rooftop. So I think they changed yeah, it to yeah. be pretty specific yep. for the new game. I hope so. Uh, that'd be cool. 
more unlocks, more things to get, more things to loot, you know, fun. Yeah, it will. It adds more, um, more weight to those systems. Yeah, yeah. We, I didn't see that pistol in the demo though. I just, um, but it looked cool. Yeah, I, I, I saw your comment, and I, and I agree. Where you know, pe people get really weird about like the opinion of player stashes. Like, I think it's like, all right, and I agree with the sentiment. We don't want fucking Fallout Four building. Like that's not what Stalker is. Like I'm not trying to have no. scale build, build a fucking tree house and and have little <laughs> decorations and shit in there. Like I want the oppressive Old atmosphere. Turret. Yeah, like it's that's comedy. Like that's 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 for that's for Fallout. But I do like the idea, nope. just like the original, where there's there's backpacks hidden in certain spots. And yep. you know, one one thing I really hope they lean into are the AI interacting with those. So if you leave something you don't know if it's going to be there when you come back. It really just depends on if the AI find it or not. And then vice versa, no. they might leave something. And so you check a bag, you've checked three, four times in this lot of that's burned out on the hill, and you're like, yeah, it's fucking empty that. again. But boom, one day there's like a 200, rounds or something like that. You just never know. I would love that. That would be, yeah, yeah. because especially in some of, the, in some of it, they... Yeah obviously like loot bodies or pick up stuff on the ground and stuff like that but as you mentioned like they're not like you can put anything in a stash and it's fine like you're and, and i guess that's nice because you know there's the sense of safety of <clears throat> having that you know but i i think i agree with you on that i really that idea would be real nice to wear as you said like your stuff could get taken and it also it would maybe incentivize you to to like find those more um secluded hideout more stash secret spots ones. you know what I mean? yeah exactly so like instead yep. of, instead of stashing your shit in the cordon camp by the campfire and everything yeah. in the monkey base you know what i mean okay you're stashing it like uh, on a rooftop on a smokestack like, or something yeah like or in one of the farmsteads or something that are like out of the way and, or something like that you know what i mean so like that'd be neat to where it's like if there's a high traffic area or you're stashing it in a base, there's a chance that no different than you stealing someone else's shit, another stalker might come around and steal your shit too, and you would have to be tactical where you stash it. That would be real yeah. freaking cool. And I think there's so much complexity tactical. that they could add to that because you could be do awesome. like 5D chess and be like, I'm going to put it in the anomaly village where there's all kinds of shit because no one's stupid enough to just walk through there normally there's already less foot traffic but i know yeah. the the path to get to my bag in there like Dude. it, it, it gives you awesome. more of that yeah and then if there was like like a tiny percent chance that there's some like other fucking badass stalker running around like let's what's in this freaking anomaly <laughs> like and even better if there's like a like a like a freaking five percent chance some some asshole runs around and ends up being like you know what like i'm artifact hunting in here what's in here and then your shit still gets taken that would be yep. a freaking choice. It adds more complexity to the ranking systems in the PDA too. Because in vanilla, that's like it's super optional, and you have to really like investigate and be like, all right, who is the stalker, and like go track them and everything. Whereas yep. in an in open world like Stalker Two, the those features would definitely lend themselves to being utilized more, where you could see who the top yep. dogs in the zone are, and maybe you're you're tracking them a lot easier. Just by opting into, you know, optional messages in PDA for like updates and stuff like that, like things that, like people had modded into the game, so you can keep up on zone events and stuff like that. Be like, oh, I gotta worry about this guy. If, if you see him, you, you know he's gonna fuck you up in wild territory. Run away, like these bad. Yeah, news. the other the other thing that would be real cool tacking onto that would be I'm. Um... They kind of mention it when you do missions like beard and stuff like that. Like they kind of mention like, oh, like, you know, like get these before the other stalkers gets this artifact and stuff. But like, that's not yep. really a thing. It would be really interesting if, again, if they had the AI life like to the point where they can be legitimate competition, where if you did drag your feet and you show up and it's like, oh, no, like freaking this guy over here already did. And you're just like. Bitch, you serious? Because, you know, you know, Sid would be giving out any contract to whoever the hell does it and just, you know, or whoever's the cheapest, whatever, you know, Sid, Sid be taking whatever. So it's like, that'd be so interesting if it's like, sorry, dude, like you were too late. This guy got that mission first, man. I'm done with you. And you're just like, I just went here and I get nothing <laughs> like that. Basically, amazing. the normal, like back to like dynamic AI. I think the original Stalker yeah. wanted that as well. Uh, but the game kind of finished itself as well. I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> Lennox knows what I'm but talking about when it comes to like when, anomaly yeah, uh, and stuff. Actually, where, about the you know, I hate it. 
it, 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 it's a balance because uh, yeah you'll be playing something like anomaly and you i always i would always pick up the the mutant hunt quests you want to know why because oh, i yeah. never fucking do them i just take Not it and i just wait and at some point my pda was like yeah. oh they all died because of but natural the, causes so i'm gonna go cash in be, the difference would be is like you wouldn't get rewarded for the fact that that mutant, you know what I mean? Like the difference yes. would be is like if someone, if some other loner or something killed it, it'd be like, sorry, you failed. You know, like if they made it to where the competition in the zone was like legitimate competition or like like a Hitler, one of the hit missions where you get like uh, one of the hit missions and stuff. And yeah, again, like it, it would totally no. fit Sid's personality to be like, oh, some other guy came and wanted this or whatever. And, and they did it. So like, you know what I mean? Like it fit his personality to be such like a shit. So it, it would be easy be to have, have the best of both like worlds. Because all you really have yeah. to do is just have contract types. So if you're like, I'm not really in the mood to feel pressured to get a, uh, yeah. you know, a quest done, exactly. yeah. then I just won't opt in. But if the quest is yeah. ambiguous and you don't really know, and then you're trying to do something else and all of a sudden you're failing this and you feel like there's like optional content you were invested in, but now it's been taken from you, that's that a little be bit more sour. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think Doug Out was going to make the point that in Call of Duty, they do actually go for the artifact and join it from, from you and you're yeah. actually on timer. I yeah, never, you can, uh, like, like the, never, the NPCs. I mean, or I run it fast that I never have anyone do. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, but it, it's very interesting because the NPCs can get the artifact before yeah. you. And in that case, you can, like, either kill, kill them or t take the artifact or, like, try to bargain with them, mm -hmm. exchange the artifact. That's I guess I've for, never, like, I've never, or something, I've never and then complete let the quest. One, I never had one get it before yeah me. because yeah, it, i mean it's pretty rare it, yeah, it no, is no, rare it's, and it's, like it's it's not like like they're like it's i feel like they're not really competition you know what i mean like like mm. even though beard is like yeah other people can complete this mission before you like you i don't really feel like there's a yeah. real competition between the npcs in the zone you know what i mean i'm just like yeah whatever you yeah shit. yeah yeah but it's just the fact that npcs can actually like roam around and try to mm. Yes, yes. It was no, just the nice that they expanded they on that way. Like and, and take them. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so GSC, I think GSC is very well aware of this yeah. being a possibility yeah, they... since they've done it before. So, yeah. also, I guess we can expect it to be expanded. In Call of Duty, you also had Skek who took uh, like your entire stash as well. Oh, yeah. 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 They, 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 they know it. They know it. Yeah, it's, it's basically in the game, but more dynamic mm -hmm. would be cool, of course. Yeah, like, yes, like a more bit, where, where it's something that you have to legitimately be conscious of and focus on. Like it would be, it would be a lot neater if they could elevate it to the next level, where it's a conscious survival thing of where do I leave my stuff? Or again, like so, like Tommy, what you mentioned, like without a doubt, probably like optional or side missions, but, but ones like normally when you get time sensitive missions, like a lot of the times you'll, you'll, they'll kind of tell you that it's time sensitive. So, so like if, if it was something where it's like, I got other stalkers on that mission, like, like I would imagine, you know, they just do something like that where we got other stalkers on this mission. So if you want this, like you better hurry up. Like as, like, as long as they kind of state it, it just needed, they took that and they just elevated all that to the next level. Yep. I think no, um, also faction relations would definitely help by being more dynamic yep. in that way where maybe contracts get put out on you depending I, on the relationship i think they have. put yeah. they put fewer factions in the game because they were going to flesh out the factions best um, best decision yeah i think there's only four major factions at the moment um three or four uh, like three of uh, three or four joinable factions the player character can join mm. and at least those are going to be mega fleshed out I think. That's something that they they said explicitly to you is like an employee that no no it was in an interview in a magazine. You're gonna be able to join the the new duties the the army looking dudes, the ward and freedom, the ward yeah uh, ward freedom and um, probably loner ending some kind of loner ending or loner yes. Yeah, so, so I'm pretty sure yeah the magazine didn't really explicitly say that you could join them but that you could help the faction you want right so. I'm not yeah. sure if it's like going to be a hard join. It could be something similar to Call of Pripyat, where you can like yeah. really help duty or freedom, but not like explicitly join them. I mean, I feel like in Call of Duty, you do kind of become an sure, honor we'll honorary uh, member of the faction. They, they don't they just like yeah. say you're kind of like part of them. 
well, no makes, bar, it makes sense like, that you would, you would have the option. Your yeah. friends, they normally are just like, you, you're like friends with them. You have a good okay. reputation. Like you're, you're buddy, buddy. Like you're, you're cool. You're in there. I think it's route. the same. It comes out to the same thing. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yep. Basically you don't join them because <laughs> you don't join them because Dek Charev has another mission. Yep. Right. Mm. So, so Fair it, enough. it would like interfere with his like main mission of being mm. military. That makes sense. Yeah, but that, uh, that I think that's the only reason yeah. why you don't like officially join. Well, because you're, you're you're taking on because Scar doesn't give a fuck, right? You don't. Scar wanna... doesn't give a fuck. He, he he he's supposed to be clear sky, but he doesn't give a fuck. Like if he yeah. wants to join duty or freedom or even the band, it's like he doesn't ask for level up for permission, right? <laughs> the, the the one thing I think that they need to be careful of with the gameplay is avoiding like the fable situation, like Fable One, where it's like every decision you do feels like it's like. There's a fucking somebody behind you looking over your shoulder and it's just like, oh, this is super good or this is super bad. And you're like, what the hell? Like, I feel bipolar. Like, yeah. it's pulling me all over the place where it's like, if you do this 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 decision, you ideologically align yourself in this way. And I don't want that all the time. So I like the idea of like, mm. hey, I'm just skiff. Look, you guys do your thing, Ward, that's fine. But if you want me to go kill some bandits and I can get some information that I need for my main quest line or, or, or whatever else... That makes complete sense for like the story and if i'm like ideologically for that playthrough like yeah i i'm all about it i want to i want to join you guys and maybe push for an, a different ending that they might possibly have then then i like to have that option as well that lends itself really well in a game that's more open like stalker 2 is supposed to be yeah and nope. you don't want the bethesda shit, man yeah. like starfield is like look, yeah. look we're watching the fresh fires burn where it's like we're just gonna give you these these quest lines and none of the factions are have any depth to them they're completely surface level there's really no lore or anything to attach to yourself there you just get like these very hyper specific stories if you jive with it you'll enjoy it and you'll enjoy it once and if you don't jive with it then the game is fucking trash and there's nothing there for you that's yep. like all bad news, yep. all things you Basically. want to avoid. Let the gameplay tell the story. The more dynamic it yep. is, that's what you talk about. It's like, that's where like you're yep. telling me about the dogs and the loners in the building, the guy yelling for help. And I'm like, I can close my eyes and I can see it in a dynamic that's, a life way. That's in, an, in essence what Star is about, in my opinion. At 100%. least uh, what they started leaning more, more towards than Clear Sky and Copy God. That is this dynamic-ish story. There's something a story you make. I think Shenzhen was um, mostly. You know. Go ahead. Yeah, about the about the decisions. Uh, the the other guy I talked to who played the, the demo, like uh, he told me uh, when when he was talking with NPCs, uh, yeah. Skiff had the possibility in the dialogue to like, when he was like um, um, finishing a quest, he could like just take the normal reward or try to ask for a better reward. Oh, cool. Like aggressively or something like this. So I don't know if you if you saw some something like this. No, I honestly I skipped through the dialogue and I ran to the banner. So my game crashed. If, I, if my Chad, game had crashed, Chad. if my game had crashed, I think I would have read the dialogue. He said, "Fuck your social so, yeah. decisions. I need a gun and I need a target and I need to go yeah, somewhere right target. now." <laughs> it's just how it was. Did you feel like the pressure? Because did yeah, they so say they're like, "Look, you're getting 15 minutes." No, I didn't. I never knew the timer because you know when I was standing in the queue, I thought I had 30 minutes. But still, I felt the pressure. I, I thought I had 30 entire minutes to play the game, but it was only like, it was like down to the clock, like 13 minutes and 45 seconds. It was nothing for me. It felt really short. Of course, it's going to blink by because you're playing Stalker 2 and it's yeah. surreal. But yeah, I, I, sorry, I, yeah. Almost, I didn't mean to interrupt your point, but I just, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So I, I just wanted to say that it seems like we'll have, have different, uh, like more dialogue options with Skiff than uh, the previous, uh, that, in, cool. that in the previous games, right? Where you will be able to go different ways about uh, talking with NPCs and maybe try to have different personalities for right. Skiff, right? I, I like, think like in... the, the Skiff, the Skiff that is fair and just like welcome, yeah, you know, like takes the takes the normal reward. The Skiff that is like greedy and wants a better reward, like that's yeah, the, the example guy. I have. But... I think, yeah, that, that's probably a possibility too, depending it, on who you're talking to, though. Like, if you're talking to a yep. key character, you're more likely to get yeah. like those um, those chat percentage checks depending on like your affiliation mm -hmm. or tasks and you've completed well, or, or and, like otherwise. building your building your faction 
uh, <laughs> reputation based on like if you're haggling with them or not. So like if you have the ability, yeah. like in Call of Pripyat, like say with that one mission where you go get that um, container from the car where all the snorks are and stuff like that, and you're like haggling with the one dude, no, I want this, you get that, and so forth, or something well like that. Like I'm. It'd be interesting if you do something like that within the factions or even like to an extent debate on like what your pay might be and see like if in whatever way that could like affect like how you're treating them, so to speak, like if it had worked with reputation in any kind of way. It sounds a um, bit like Fallout 4 in that department. It's like, yes, yes, sarcastic. Yes, but really no yeah. and no. <laughs> Yes, it's kind of ironic. <laughs> I never thought I never thought we'd like we'd bring up Fallout 4 of all fucking games like this many times when talking about the game, but it is ironic because because you can think of how like oh you're like oh this concept works when you think of it applied to Stalker, but not to be too spicy, but Fallout 4 misses in a lot of departments where it's like yeah. it tries to do too many things, and so it's 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 jack of all trades, master of none, like really think, surface hmm. level for a lot of things. Whereas Stalker, every system directly affects the other systems yeah. whether it's like crafted by a developer or just happenstance of the system which is where like the best situations occur like the guy is like trying to take cover behind a, a burned out vehicle and he's like glitching on the corner and it's like because yeah because you don't know the ai are gonna make decisions that aren't always just like five to six pre-calculated like yeah. combat loops so yeah. they can get super schizo or they can do like the most brilliant shit where like they will fight and you'll just watch, not even participate. Then they'll go up to the guy and execute him and then they go sit down at the yeah. campfire and start talking. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, that's amazing. I didn't have to do anything. You always want to yep. feel like you're just a piece in the, in the machine and that the world yep. is not just Born. just revolving around you to be cinematic and wow, the player. It's like the, the coming, coming across <laughs> a situation that was wild that I was never there for. You could just see like dead bodies, like maybe charred, mm -hmm. charred ground, something like that. You're like, some shit happened here. I was doing another quest at the time. I didn't have to be here to see it for it to have an impact on me. It makes the zone have more weight oh. to it in real time. Yep. That's important. Quick question before I forget, Linux. The PDA, when you, when you went to go bring it up, yeah. Did it look like the PDA that they showed in the Skiff trailer? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was the Skiff uh, trailer PDA uh, when you pull up. But then, of course, it fades to the to, to the overlay. Right, mm. but the, when it's when it's coming up in the animation, it looks. Yeah, it looks, looks good. Like it, it looks like the, the like basically in the the very first trailer they showed with the burr. Uh, the the yeah first or second trailer. There was a another question. Yeah, the Skiff the Skiff teaser, right? Skiff teaser. How yeah, it looked uh, like that. would you have judged the draw distance? No clue. I, basically, I was, you feel like you're in a valley. You're like, the parts where I was on the road, I, you felt like you're in a valley. A lot of trees around you. So, Did uh, the foliage seem like it was rendering to like the end of your line of sight, or you could see where that, it was That's top? for sure. I couldn't see it pop in. But to be fair, your left side felt like at most like 50 to 100 meters in that area. And it I had a stable frame up. rate. Yeah, it was stable for sure. Would when you I played. say like around I, I sixty or even higher, possibly? Because I mean, you're on 4K monitors. Oh wait, but the game was running at 4K, so yeah, 4K 60. Yeah, it was 4K, and it did feel like 60. It definitely. I wouldn't say it felt like 90 or anything, but it felt like solid 60. Okay. Yeah. Yo. Oh yeah. It, that would make sense because I had heard that VSync was on. That was like confirmed. Yeah, at the very least. Yeah, I think VSync might have been. On. But yeah, I mean, if you want me to finish the demo, like the walkthrough. Um, yeah, yeah. Like after the dogs was up, I after the dogs were down and I did it twice. Um, I started running towards the bandits, and the bandit fight. Um, this is where the AI comes in, and I, you know, I start pushing the bandits. Uh, of course, Q and E leaning is back in, so I was leaning around the corners, uh, pushing up while uh, leaning around the corner. Uh, getting some quick headshots with the AKU. Um, also in the demo, you also got very little ammo. I felt like. It felt like 60 rounds of AK rounds, uh, to 14 buckshot, and 32 macro rounds. That, that's pretty steep. Um, yeah, I guess most of the buckshot fight on the dogs, there were like six dogs. So I only had the AK rounds left. And I wasn't the best because obviously my sensitivity on the mouse was really, really high. So I wasn't hitting the best shots. I heard um, that they did that. They had them all cranked up. I wonder if they did that on purpose to throw people off so that the combat yeah. wouldn't go down too quickly. Maybe, uh, but I, I did lower it, so it was okay-ish, but it was still too high for me. 
so the bands were fun to fight. That, you know, bands die in one headshot. They went down in like, I don't know, five chest shots with an AK. Oh, wait. It felt appropriate, didn't it? Uh, sorry, but you lowered the sensitivity, so you were able to get into the options menu? Well, it's, the, the Bullet Pro menu had one setting, and it was like lowering the sensitivity. That's it. <laughs> that, that was it? That's all they gave you? <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was the whole thing. They're, they're like, How we convenient. have the sensitivity way, yeah, we're like, we yep. have this way up, we'll give you this option if you they're, don't like it. They're like, they'll never yep. figure out how to break it now. Looks over at Linux, no. just spamming that middle mouse button, and starts sweating yeah, even more. <laughs> <laughs> Also, someone asked, uh, I heard someone ask, like, what's the sprint button? The the sprint button was default to X, that, which was a... Uh, Shadow actually, channel? No, no. Oh, that's so... What, no? Let's go. Oh, you play with my yeah, emotions. No, because because he said, wait, I, I feel and like I was, it was like, is it not X? Because if it's X, that's so I feel like bad. it was, but... It is X. Yeah, it is X, which is awesome. Oh, um, so giga It's a nice touch. I, yeah, they did pull that. Like, that, that's such a nice detail. Like, everyone was going to say... Wow, but after press X, well, I'm not pressing shift. That's what everyone is going to bring up. But when you did press cool. shift, did it make you walk? Was it straight up just legacy? Like, is the, I, I'm not going to say. I think you walked, yeah. But double crouch yeah, I think is, I, is control, still Control in? crouch. Still Honestly, I, I couldn't, I couldn't really right? tell. I, I, was, I was playing very quickly. I was pushing up very quickly. I think I, I most I crouched and slow walked a little bit. I was slow walking around corners with the ADSing. Uh, I wasn't slow crouching oh, around corners. Oh, okay, I, I got you, got you, got you. Slow walking. With shift, I was walking with shift and ADSing and Q and E. Uh, using Q and E. It sounds like they just straight up like they kept all the old school just the way it was. Yeah, at least for the it PC com controller. It's really like, cool. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, honestly, I I can't. Yeah, the, the benefit was very short, and I, you know after the benefit I got kicked out, and even get to the mission part or the cutscene at the end, I did a bit, <laughs> little benefit and I got kicked out, but. Do what they, is bad do fight? They, do they just like pick you up from the chair? They're like, all right, you're done, kid. Like, get out of here. No, I, like, they shove you. I feel like I was being. <laughs> I feel like I was being rushed out, though. I feel like uh, I was being rushed out a little bit. That's fair, though. They had people waiting they, in line. They for noticed five I was hours. playing really, really quickly because I crashed. They did. I felt like I was the the kind of the focus there. I wonder if you. I felt they were behind. The that's three guys behind me. Well, you said that you had like it was six hours just for you to right. Yeah. Like you waited six hours. Yeah. How early did I, you like, get to the to the showcase rush, to get like, in line? Be, yeah, yeah, it was. I felt like I, I felt just I felt uh, physically exhausted. I just wanted to play really quickly. I just wanted to get over with. Was was the line already substantial by the time you got into it? Like, uh, how long was the yeah. booth probably like open? Yeah, it's because uh, I mean uh, that that was just because of the, sh the shitty parking situation. They would only allow cash when parking. Uh, <sighs> so I had to drive to the different parking lot. So that was dogshit. Oh, yeah. Uh, like whatever that was annoying and i was already like this hard enough that you know i had to spend uh 20 more minutes so i had to was back in line 20 minutes and those 20 minutes that was later you know it costed me hours of queue time so i was just exhausted um and annoyed like, at uh, game school they, they booted the game back up for you in like a single play session though right when it yeah yeah the first uh, when it crashed uh it was really quickly it was like the close the game they they click the you know it was on the desktop they click the exe on the desktop and it boots you straight into the the the, the settings like the straight the exe ran I could even tab you could even during the demo you could tab in and out of the game it's funny you see the desktop it was like you know kind of bootleg um you, you know what I would have got I guess in trouble for at the booth it would have been like okay what? time's up and I would have gotten up sideways because I would have wanted to like take the little keyboard uh, prompts that they had underneath the monitor would have been like oh, my souvenir from like, just have the little keyboard oh, yeah, the little yeah, card, they had yeah. It. yeah the little card like, <laughs> they'd be like what the fuck hey, happened to station 9 the card is missing I'll be like I got a piece spaghetti. of developer but my question is <laughs> is Kevin Hart I'm always done with the demo I'll, I'll why like he the, looks the, LB, part of the impressions of the is demo is it the lighting yeah it's just like the the bands we're finding the bands I think we're six, seven, or 8 of them uh, gave a few headshots to the first few. Honestly, at some point, I ran out of AK rounds, and there were two or three left. And I noticed when I was, I felt I was fiddling around with uh, pulling out different guns. I got pushed from the like I was. They were all mostly in the the building, but then I was like, randomly was a band behind me in a tree line, and it was popping in behind me the trees. The AI felt like classic. It just felt like they were flanking me the whole time. They were trying to flank me the whole oh, time that's through. That's awesome. Did the and uh, it just felt animations felt for them like, getting in and out of cover seem like they were like pretty good looking. Well, so your cat is so cute. I had to say it. I was, yeah, I know, she, I was gonna say your cat's so pretty. But she, uh, I don't know. It felt felt very dynamic. It didn't feel like baked. They weren't showing any baked in animations. I couldn't tell if they were good or bad. I honestly gotta say that that they felt a little bit sluggish. They felt a little slow moving. Maybe too slow. You I think it's just increasing more casual speed. difficulty. Maybe maybe they're like yeah. It could be the difficulty or 
it could be the fact that there were tutorial banners that were like the very first banners you're supposed to fight in the entire game. So they're like a little bit dumber, dumber down. They're not dumb, but they're slow. Mm. Like the, the way they, they moved the two towards the tree was just like slow. They were like jogging. They could increase their movement speed. That's not like a... But the way they move from tree to tree and from rock behind the rock, they were, like at some point I was running around a big boulder, you know, a big classic boulder. I was running around the rock behind the bandit. They kept, you know, we kept circling around the rock. Like it, that kept happening. Are you like serious? Twice. And, I yeah, love we, that. That's awesome, though. I love that they the actually rock. still follow and, and will flank you because that's one of like, to me, one of the best parts about the AI is how decent they can be at flanking. Sometimes they yep. make a lot of noise and obviously you hear them and sometimes they're j but you turn around and there they freaking are and you're just like, are you kidding me? I didn't the, hear a damn the noise. Were loud, yeah. Yeah. The, in the old games, they, if they you had an quietly. inventory open, they would always wait and sneak up on you to get the a better position to shoot. I bands see, yeah. quietly, but they kept yelling. They kept yelling with Chiki Briki, and I didn't hear Chiki Briki, but they kept yelling the all Briki? the time. No, I didn't hear it. Oh no! <laughs> they yelled yell so many words. There were so many words coming out. I couldn't couldn't tell. Did you hear like, like the uh, was, are the most talkative. No, it was all dubbed. Sorry, it was everything was dubbed. So it was like a uh, push English? this guy, uh, flank him. Oh, wow, it was English. Yeah. Okay. The whole thing was English. Is it like American English? No, no, I wouldn't say American. It was like a uh, European. Like it was a bunch of dialect, like British, like British dudes, or like I don't know, just. European. It wasn't forced dialogue. Dialect. It wasn't just European dudes. It was British. It was a uh, maybe some Dutch dudes, some Swedish dudes. I don't know. Like, uh, okay, that's interesting. I was just like wondering Euro about accents. that. Would you describe the it dubs, at all, possibly as placeholder? No, it felt like really high quality. The, the voices felt high quality. The, the NPCs, it felt like they were really polished. The voices. The only reason that I show hesitancy is it seems like they're going for this hybrid model because Skiff sounds super American. And like, yeah. um, I Mark, Mark. like, yeah, if you ask people, basically a lot of times they fall into like one of two camps where it's like for the voice acting dub, it's either just be American and, and have that be the tone for everybody or go for the English voice acting with the yeah. accenting being the accent. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, people feel some type of way about both. I mean, in the in shadow of Chernobyl, it's a meme and I love it. And like, it's, it's funny. That's how I, I first I played really the care, game. Yeah. Yeah, like it doesn't, I think it doesn't bother I think me because if I want authentic, I just put it on Ukrainian or whatever. The, the most important part for me is the quality, the 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 effort the actors put in, and the quality of, of the voices. That's for me the only thing that matters. Because if you want to play the originals, I just turn on Ukrainian dubs, uh, yeah. which I'm gonna do. So the, so the, the English dubs you heard are they had cool. like the emotion in it. Yeah, they, they were good voice actors. Uh, they weren't like all. They didn't all sound American to me. That sounded like uh, all over the world, probably. How did the sound uh, the effects were... feel? Um, as far as like, did you feel like there was a really good three D audio space? Like, did they say did yeah, they good. sound muted more so when behind cover, and then they got louder as they got closer and all that? Uh, maybe, but it felt really. It felt really good. The audio design felt like better than any stalker game, and it felt really more. Um... Lenny, Lenny, what's her name? You have to Hi. introduce the cat. Pablo. <laughs> oh, it's Pablo. Pablo. Pablo? No, well, it's Pablo, but the female cat. Oh, it's the unknown no. cat. <laughs> Pablo's so pretty. Oh, oh she's so oh, majestic. majestic. Oh, my I gosh. Look at that pose, dude. That is awesome. Yeah, she likes to sit like this. I can hold her on one hand. I can just like, she play games. She looks like a queen. Yeah, that's cute. And, yeah. like, How old is she? she? And she runs that bitch. She's five years old. Five and a half, maybe. What a lady. lady. Love her tail. Yep. Oh. oh, she said, hey, what's up, stream? It's a little pissed that I keep uh, touching her the whole time. But uh, yeah, I mean, we killed the, the bandits. They kept playing me and, I, and then it was basically them over. Um, so yeah, we, we can when discuss the more. When, when the demo ended, you didn't get to the emission final scene. Part. that Yeah, the final no, part no. that the demo had had. I never got there. So it crash the crash. did the Oh, it, it crashed a second time and that's when you're... When no, no. Right? I feel like I never time. got to the mission part because it's on timer. Like I, I feel like the mission happens after 14 minutes. Exactly, you just get hit by a mission. But my, because my game crashed, I never got to the 14 minute point. Did they show Probably. you the timer in the game? No, I didn't see anything. Okay, so it was just them keeping track. Probably, yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds so Probably kind of scripted stressful. too. When it ended, did it just boot back to the menu and they told you to get up and go? Or was the game still running uh, and then they just reset it was, and you just didn't see? I'm just really curious. It's those little details of behind I, the scenes. I right. know because I was I was standing in the queue and the booth was empty for like 10 minutes. And it was just a guy in a, sitting in a mission. I saw a, 
I guess I could peek through the booth from one angle while standing in the queue. And I, I saw, it was just uh, the stalker was standing there with his AK, like AK out for 10 minutes. I, I saw uh, Red Storms playing. The emission didn't actually kill you. So if you apparently survive the emission or don't walk to the door, you don't actually die, I think. That's uh, just a placeholder, I think. Yeah, I wonder what happens. They obviously though. just kick you out. Yeah, yeah, I, don't think nothing I guess it, it probably just out. it just goes. Skiff just stands there unbothered. No yeah, he stands there, nothing happens. Yeah. Time, time to leave. Yeah, wow, that's funny. Interesting, interesting. Damn, yeah, I think you it, had to wait like all that time. I mean, like, but it felt good dude. as fuck to play the game. I bet. I bet that it was Nirvana for like the, the twelve or thirteen. It was yeah. Nirvana for those ten minutes. It was. Yeah. Worth it. Would you stand in line again? <laughs> well. I'll see if I'll, I'll, be, I'll, bad... be, I'll be the, I'll be there with you. If I didn't have such a the nonstop. bad first impression of Gamescom, because before I ever going to Gamescom, I I would have I would have, but I just didn't feel it anymore. I was um, a little bummed out at that time for the amount of time I spent waiting. Oh yeah, did they give uh, you a bar? It is such a long get some time. Habar? Uh, no loot. I don't know. I <laughs> they didn't give you any loot. No. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I I was. I was not recording, again, I was on video recording. I was recording myself, uh, talk to myself so I could take notes on what I was saying. And maybe mm. that didn't like that either, so I, I kind of oh, got like, so, so I felt like I got rushed out. You were doing that while playing. It wasn't on the game itself, so they didn't like trip on you, but you were like recording. Yeah, I was recording my audio. I was like, I was just hit my record mic and I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah, I was, I, yeah, that's right. Because I remember uh, I was watching the stream, but it was just black screen and I could hear you. Yeah. I didn't realize that you were in the chair literally at that time. Yeah, I was, uh, but I, I don't. They're probably not that's, thrilled about that. They probably not thrilled. you had like a spy cam and a button. Or yeah, something yeah, I know. Like they were worried that. about that. They probably yeah, were. They were, they were, they were up. Like, this guy's got a cam like the size of a pinhole somewhere. Yep. Yeah, like, people can do that. Like you, you can't get glasses oh, it, like that. Oh, and exactly, stuff. exactly. So if they hear you talking and obviously like recording to some extent, like I'm sure that was a concern of like. Does yep. this guy have something? Isn't like, that, that I the can't weirdest see? thing? Yeah. We get the trailer. The trailer, debatably, is not as representative in a positive yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm demo. worrying. Like, but then the demo they won't show. I'm. That's I why was I'm totally so, like, expecting was, on Saturday. I was, like, I was. I thought when wow. um, the schedule showed they were going to have some on floor reveal. I'm like, okay, cool. They showed the, the trailer. Uh, but so now annoyed. we can get more context, and and that would have cleared a lot of like concerns. Like, people are saying. I am a little bit annoyed about how it went down because I felt so bummed out because. You know, I kept asking them on Twitter, like, can we can we film? Uh, and then I check Gamescom, and I look at Gamescom, and I, I, ident I inspect the website, and like pretty much every game, it says you can film. You know, everywhere it says everything is open, public, and it's film. You can stream, you can film, you can live stream, everything. It's my first time going to Gamescom, and then I go there, and I stand in the queue for three hours, and I see the sign, and it says, like, no filming allowed. I'm like, okay, my, and then my mental, like, mentally, I just got destroyed. And at that point, I was like, okay. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. I was bummed out because I went there to film footage. That's why so I honestly rushed in. So here's what's weird. Here's here's where it's like, dude, I love GSC, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, valid criticism is valid criticism. I'm not gonna yeah, like, love, defend something if, if 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 it's if it's something that's worth criticizing. And I will say this: this feels a lot like the um the phase two um audio like segment that was supposed to happen at um that was wasn't that G uh Gamescom like the previous year or something? Like, was it was a oh no GDC at the, the game developer conference. And they were like, hey, we're going to be there. It's going to be sick. And everybody kind of had the impression that that was going to get uploaded or that we would see like something from that. But that was strictly behind closed doors. Oh, then yeah. we had like the Gamescom 2023 build up. They get a text channel in the official stalker yeah. discord. They yeah, start know, putting right? out the promotional images for seven days. Come hang out, play the demo. It's yeah, like, 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 really like you like, dude, nobody could be faulted for getting the impression that, that we would at least see the demo. I mean, yeah. we were so horny for it that we were like, like, mullet, <laughs> is it coming to steam? Is it coming I, to steam? And I was like, all right, like, I want that really badly. But let's be real. If it's like, not yeah. super polished, I was, it's not a good benchmark piece of software for people no. to be having. But come on, I wanted to see the demo at least. I saw 10 seconds of Phil Spencer really shitty at taking Crouch behind the fucking tree log yep, yep. and just get oh, lit man. up by the bandit. But at least I got to see the Bloodsucker death screen. I saw that and I was like, I love every bit of that and how Slav jank it is for like yep. just the demo show. Yep. But it's it, it was, seemed it like the strange. demo was probably in this weird place where they're like, well, we want people to understand this is a stalker game. So if you walk into an anomaly, like you gotta die quick too, right? But yeah. 
they made it so that obviously probably like the combat was a little bit more bullet spongy so that people could play it of without course. just immediately dying. Otherwise, they'd be like, they're course, trying yeah, to play the game. Having... You die in two seconds. They don't want you to see what's going no. on. The game's not stable. You, like, you already could imagine what people would come up with. I would call it hard at experience, though. Like Spen- especially the clip where Spencer dies. I think he was fighting uh, something that we're not supposed to fight. It was like a geared uh, military soldier or, or a stalker with an AK. And I think you're not oh. supposed to fight an enemy in a demo. It's like one of those game over the enemies in a demo. It's like, oh, you go here, you get killed instantly. That's what it, that it Spencer I was felt wondering like. how the okay. players within the z- yes, <laughs> the zone. I think that's. Hmm. But um, I think that is how. See myself out. But um, like yeah, like the the area of the demo like, itself. It seems when I was fighting the bandits, honestly, they kept shooting me. I, I felt like I was, sometimes I got flanked for three sides. I kept getting hit, and honestly, pulled one medkit, and I was fine. Like, uh, that that wasn't always difficult. It was just like a uh, journalist difficulty, which is honestly what it should be like. If you're at the game school, you should not raise your difficulty to a certain amount. Right. Well, if they're also giving you like 14 minutes, imagine how aggravating that would be if people yeah. are like dying before. Yes. Like, yeah, sorry you couldn't get anywhere. Like, be gone, yep. bro. And it's more it's likely the game would like... probably break. But, like, what? So, this, this is my like final thought on the. I feel like the demo was better than the trailer, but we couldn't publicly share the demo. So, that, that feels really weird. Like, that's goofy. They're, no. they're in yeah. this way where all the material that they show, they're really, um, like, I know you were saying they're insecure, but, but but they're careful. Yeah, and it's because they're, 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 there's they're people careful. like, they're like me nervous. that break down. Like, they, they, they want to keep a lot of the game, as yeah. I'm sure. And so, it, like, all right, I saw this criticism I saw on a comment in a YouTuber. The guy's like, they show the bloodsucker again. They keep, like, spoiling the bloodsucker. He's supposed to be, like, the scary buildup. I'm like, oh, sweet summer child. They already showed the the bloodsucker in E3 2021. He's sort of like the yeah. in face of the series. He's not a spoiler. Yes. You know what? It's a, a fucking like chimera. Cares. That's going to be a spoiler when you're just like yeah. <laughs> in the forest at night and all of a sudden Bambi is, is about oh. to go down. Like, yeah, and that's yeah. going to there's plenty of surprises yeah. and they've been select about not showing that. But at and the same time, you the types entirely. But yeah, oh, but yeah. they don't want to beat a dead horse. They don't want to show the same thing every time, especially if it's a vertical slice trailer, because then people are going to be like, they're just showing us the same thing. We're really not seeing the yeah. A life on display and this, that and the other. They're really going for the cinematic approach because like yeah. a lot of it, I'm sure, is still a work in progress. Like we've seen the HUD change like five times just through promotion. Yeah, pretty much. You know, even oh, yeah. um, the Phil yeah, Spencer I'm... clip confirmed that, and maybe you can confirm this as well, because he was firing at the bandit, and when he would stop firing, the AK kind of went into a, Cat's not smoking. lowered, but like a semi-lowered position, where if he was shooting, it was up and active. But when he stopped after holstered. a moment, it, it, not exactly, yeah, just... not holstered, but in like a, a stand down position, where if he would have like left clicked, it would have came back up and started firing. It seemed like they, they changed the animations up a, bit, a little bit. Yeah, I think that's just the feeling top thing. I, I didn't really notice that too much. When you played, it felt like you were just playing Stalker, just like a very more. Yeah, it felt more. It. Yeah, it felt really. It felt very arcadey, but the Polish, like, it felt the arcadey shooter, but with the Polish of a modern, like, really modern game. But not like, too arcadey. Call of Duty, like, like there's they're still like the like you better take cover type of. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, yes. Cover, the I know the difficulty, but. The gunplay felt like polished as a as a Call of Duty game. You know, the, the guns felt satisfying, but mm. of course the gameplay that's subjective. I think if you just raise the difficulty to the master and you die in two shots of bandits, I think we're all good. I think that just fixes the, everything. Can I just say how funny it is when like uh, Phil like le- leans over to Todd Howard? He's like, "Hey, you want to play?" He's like, "Nah, I'm good." I was like, "Todd, I will fucking smack you across the face, bro." Did you just say no? You don't want to play Stalker too? What's the yeah, matter, man. Todd? You afraid that it it, it's gonna make you feel feelings that your Starfield couldn't produce? Like, yeah, dude, for real, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking journalist oh, moment. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, what a goofy actually, bastard. Damn, bro. Come like on, Phil, Stalker I think too. Phil actually enjoys playing games, though. Uh, like yeah, that totally one guy from IG. I can't remember his name. Um. But he was talking about it a little bit, and then he showed the picture with the disc plate that I totally overpaid on eBay for, so I had something from Gamescom because I couldn't be there. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, what the, did you get? Uh, the Dunger Array guy. The the, the, the Dunger the, Array. It's a it's a disc plate. You you know the disc plates, Taryn? The uh, they're like metal posters, and they're like yeah. some, they do limited edition prints of them. Oh yeah, so, that's yeah, sick. So he showed a picture, and it's the uh, it's the stalker holding the blue orb with like the the grayish oh, background. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. So they they did it on a plate, and he said in the caption, um, the guy from IGN, he's like, I was one of the first people to finish the demo, so they rewarded me with this plate. So I guess oh, like yes. de- de- depending on like what happened, 
Oh, Lennox mad. He's like, yeah, I sat for six hours. I could have easily gotten that plate. If the game didn't crash, I would have. Yeah. He's like, I would have kicked that bandit, shot the other one in the face, ran up to the door and been like, open the door. Let me in. Give me my yeah. fucking disc plate. Win, <laughs> I would have. Easily. Uh, easy. Anyways. With 360 no scope, yeah. all of them. Showing them a real fucking stuff. I feel like How most people got... give it to you on novice mode. What a joke. I do feel like most people got like 15, 16, 17 minutes ish. I feel like I, we got like solo like 13. It was like 13 and a half minutes, boom, cut. I feel like a lot of people got a little bit more leeway with the time though, uh, also. Which it felt really, it felt really like I've, you know, I was, I was. Like, whatever. do you mean people who were there early, like, in the, like, yeah, earlier. prior to you? So, like, like, yes. like, do you think, like, maybe they were just felt the pressure of the queue and they were like, we need to yes. ramp this up and make it faster? The queue was very, very slow and uh, people were complaining and people were, like, behind me, the queue was slowly getting less and less. Uh, I know this. Uh, yeah. So people like, were just kind of bouncing. It seems yeah. like it's less that they were nervous about showing the game because obviously they have a massive line that they're willing to have you sit down and play in and yeah. more the pressure of, Oh man, these people are are standing and they're tired. Like even yeah. I was talking about it was the other day, and he's like, "Dude, my yeah. legs are killing me. You can't." And, no, yeah, and they're was... on their feet all day. The GSE guys, you know what I mean? Like it was even, that too. Yeah, like I mean, shit. Like the people are waiting in line, but even when you're done, they're still standing and helping people. So they, I yeah. think they probably weren't expecting maybe as much of a. You were feeling as they the were, pressure, you think? Which is so weird. Yeah. This is like a tale as old as GSE itself, where they're like, "Oh no, no, it'll be manageable," and then it's literally a fucking clusterfuck of everybody being like, "Cheeky breaky," like an onslaught of yeah. people. Like the lines fill up immediately, and they're just looking. A lot of cool like, space. <laughs> it was, it was pretty like cool. Six though. hours of people. Like, how do you? Yeah, that's 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 nutty. But we're we're jumping around a lot of um, this uh, this one topic that I knew we were gonna we we're gonna end up coming to, which is uh, the, there's not one fucking person in here that believes Q1 is there like for 2024. Let's be real, like they are yeah, showing I the game. I've been bringing it up into my chat. This I've been bringing it up to the chat the They with, should delay it. They should and take I all eat. the time they need. That's fine. Like that's understandable. Yeah, I'm saying that they should. Mm. But yeah, Q1 feasible. But, but, you know, that, that would be kind of a mediocre release, probably. Here's the thing. I and, and one of the reasons I don't believe in Q1 at all. Bruh, E3 2021, when they told us the April release date, like, yeah, right, dude. That was yeah, never no going to fucking happen. That was I knew it. No, best case scenario, that was never going to happen. And that's fine. I feel like these aren't really release dates that they tease as much as it's a get ready for the next piece of news or something like that. It's almost um, like this is like their landmark. Like to build for when... high, yeah, to build I'm okay with it. Like you keep yeah, being, that's you fine. Keep interested. Then the date gets pushed back and you're just like, oh, okay, my hype train has to go further now. All right. <laughs> it's just like the old, it's like Shadow yeah. Chernobyl went through like seven delays. So every time yep. it happens, I'm just like, <laughs> here we go again. Like pour another white Russian. Ha ha ha. Yep. Like, like, like I've been talking about how, many people, how many people were like mad, surprised, upset? Like that was in my reaction video that was one of the things i talked about i was like is it really oh, like i'm like I, I was honestly couldn't believe how many like stalker people were surprised that it got pushed back because i, I was again like <clears throat> we're hopeful we'll get it sooner because we fucking want it sooner yeah. but, like realistically i'm like man i'm like they still like like again up until GameCom, I'm like they still have shown no gameplay and like before GameCom, they were still showing a 2023 date for the time being and I'm like <laughs> that's just like I'm like that's too soon and we don't have enough and I'm like I'm still excited if it is but like I didn't even believe that date you know what I mean so when there's a lot of people kind of throwing a fit that it got pushed back again I'm like Look, we were all hopeful for it, but did anyone really believe? Like, I mean, we wanted it, yes, but like, yeah. it, it's, it's just it's, it's, it's really rude. It's like, bro, like, come I mean, on, like, think about the like what the people who are making this game have been through. Like, if, if you don't have yes. like like empathy for that, like, that's just ridiculous. Like, we waited how many years? Like, fifteen plus? Like, for a yeah, we so. dude, it's all good. It's, it's, like, do what you got to do. Like, we're gonna what, we've what are we got gonna nothing do? Keep... to complain about. We've got nothing to complain about. Compared to Half-Life community. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> But uh, yeah, back I mean, in uh, back in February this year, uh, they actually said that the day was a placeholder. Um, so we already knew since February that 223 dates, like saying it will release this year, would was a placeholder basically. It was weird though. Uh, it was confirmed in the on Discord, Twitter. Really recent, right before Gamescom, when people were asking, they were like 2023. They wouldn't exactly. say they wouldn't say anything, but they kept sticking to it to the last yeah, second. But I even was yeah. commenting in my previous videos where I'm like, I can't believe it, but hey, they're still saying it. So I'm like, going to go I with it. Never believe that. Meanwhile, I mean, like my buddy in the days. Discord, El Pero Vecia, and he's like Nostradamus with the fucking evil predictions. He's like, late 2020. 
And we're all like, stop, like, no, no, it's, oh, don't worry, it's not going to happen. And now I'm like, okay, yeah, no, he's right. I, I totally, like, this is a this is probably, like, fall 2024, if anything. No. Because you, you think about the time they originally projected for Polish before the yeah. world flipped upside down for them. Like, that has to at least double the the time to completion when, when it comes to efficiency of workload. Because no, no doubt, it's like every day they're working down to like the minute to try and get the game prepared. It's like you were saying, they were trying to make the changes like for the next day. During a demo, yeah. I wonder how many build revisions they went through over the seven days of having that line completely maxed out. You were one of the first. You probably played like, well, just call it, you know, zero five. And then they had zero yeah. five three or even four by the end of the show because they're like, oh, these people, the last 20 people ran into this. Like, this is part of that one thing we noticed. They go ahead and fix that shit they, up, and then you got to revise build, downloading overnight for the next day when they open. I think the show. they did. Like, they for sure did. They felt. I felt like they were reading that. That's insane, though. Uh, and I, the developers, they were they were talking about it. I don't think they were lying. It actually, I think it actually happened though. I like that one guy who said he was playing the demo, and he's like, I talked to a developer, and they said the game's coming out December 20th, 2023. And don't worry, you'll hear about it in the news in the coming days. This is going to be, like, public knowledge and everything. Look like an asshole <laughs> yeah. now, brother. I'm saying, I, even, even when I heard that, I was like, yeah, I'll bet my life that that's not going to happen. Like, forget about it. I, I've always mentioned that. Like, I've mentioned it a year ago, but it wasn't even released this year. Uh, it seems like it. It's too ambitious. It's just like the start of this year. Dude, look at Starfield. Look at what happens when you have a Western studio, AAA, with all the fucking money and time and, and convenience in the world. And, dude, they're still putting stuff out that doesn't feel as, like, groundbreaking as games did, like, a decade ago. Super Stalker generic. 2 is, yeah, yeah. Stalker 2 is the first to not be generic. It's also That's by the underdog studio. And yeah. it's like people want everything. It's like it's like the old saying. It's like you can pick two out of three. You can have it cheap. You can have it fast. You can have it quality. It's like, well, what do you want? If you want quality and you don't want it to be cheap, then you better give us some fucking time. And if you want, they need some time. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And if you don't want to sacrifice on time, well, then it's going to be cheap. It's like, well, and no one wants it. A bad like, game is forever. A delayed yeah. game comes out good when it's ready. Everyone can agree on one that. of the only passionate people. Like, so like I've been kind of ranting to this about like some of my friends where we you know do different games like uh like overwatch is my biggest bitch because it's one of the only games that me and my girlfriend play um so like i play it all the time because we have nothing else we play together they let you but down like, with the second one <laughs> you, you mean you mean 0. 0.5 like basically but like, it, <laughs> but, like but, but anyway it's just a lot of gaming companies these days like when you think of gaming 10 years ago they don't have the passion, as you, as you mentioned, they don't have a passion to be groundbreaking. They yes. don't care about, like as you said, the AAA titles, like, like again, like, it, and just using Overwatch, because it's a good example of going from literally, like, high fucking ratings to fucking in the garbage. And it's like, they went from, we wanted to make something... Not new and different because you had Team Fortress 2 and that was like a similar vibe, right? Yeah. Um, but they created a really good world and they created like some really interesting characters and then it just all went into like Activision style, battle pass, monetization, whatever. And that's what like every company Live service seems to be model. doing. It's, it's yep. like, yeah, oh, like wow. it's not about, it's not about passionate gamers making games anymore to make the next big thing or the next big newest thing in gaming it's about how can we monetize the shit out of this like like and that's like like and that's why like i'm so excited for stalker and so passionate with gsc is like i feel like they're one of the only people out there that still have a vision for a game and obviously they need to work <laughs> and and nft they need to <laughs> uh, Damn son, I think was, you didn't have to do them like that. That was publish. I think that was the publicity stunt. I think they were trying to make some uh, quick cash or Ooh, Lenica, publicity stunt. It was go, deliberately, deliberately. I mean, they're a company and they want money, and they'll just try to get it like as deep down your throat. And GSC, if you're watching this, the, the whole face now. scanning thing, I still like that. Please scan me into the game, baby. I love yeah, you. I just, you, know, you got my phone number. Hit me up. What's up? Yeah. All right. But, uh, yeah. well, they got your number. Give it, get, just, just forward me some, forward me that numbers. Forward me their numbers too. Publicity okay. saw man. <laughs> Millions right, of clicks. But, but 
but but yeah so, so like it, it's nice because g like with stalker like it truly feels like a game built of pat like it feels like what gaming to me used to be 10 years ago when like the games that you were really into were we're gonna make the next best thing we're gonna make the next best world we're gonna make the next big lore game raising the bar where pushing the, the envelope right exactly where all the triple a's are just doing how can i monetize the shit out of this with all the kids who have mommy's credit card and look at the worst example of it shit. redfall what that's the worst example of like the there's this no artistic vision no creativity we're just going to pump it oh, out yeah. and it's just filler content and it was so bad that even people who will just buy the next big thing because it's marketed as the next big thing dude redfall fell on its fucking face so fast and even starfield is getting like what seven out of ten from ign it's a mid game and you have fanboys the best of fanboys trying to defend it as like a high watermark title Bro, I'm sorry. Did you see like the oh, average NPC face animations? If anyone has the yeah. audacity to fucking complain about what they saw in the Stalker 2 demo about facial animations, no and if they say anything good about the Starfield faces, we're taking them out, no way. taking them out and no. burning them. Like, forget it. That's ridiculous. That's, over. That's unacceptable. The, yeah. the hypocrisy cannot be withstood. Just, uh, yeah. I mean, I want to be cheerful about more games. Baldur's Gate 3 and Larian Studios, they're awesome, though. Uh, there you go. Larian Studios are. The gold. So there's some modern companies doing uh, good that games. That game didn't have months and months of like heavy, heavy marketing. It was just a game that was so good that people that had no interest yep. in CRPGs were like, I guess I'll take a look. People are literally giving it all the praise in the world. Exactly. That's what, that's what just, we uh, need from Stalker 2. Like, it, yeah, it, it made uh, me so sad because when we got this trailer and I was like, man, Gamescom is going to be the shit. Like, this is going to renew the hype and it's going to show, you know, to the more general yet. audience. Like, hey, look, this is what we've been working on and you should be excited for. This is, you know, yeah. micro Microsoft's like underdog ringer. Like when people are like, yes, Microsoft are. ain't got no exclusive stalker in the back. Like, it's about to it's end gonna sell their console. Career. Like, yeah, dude, like exactly. It's a console seller, an actual console seller. It is. Yeah. It is more than Starfield. Uh, this is more ch of a chance to sell the console than Starfield does, in my opinion. 100%. Maybe. And no, and, but nobody talks about that. They're still sleeping on it. I'm still salty about Halo Infinite. The abandonment? The... Yeah. It's just... The Halo Infinite, basically, like... It, it, well, what, what, it was hyped to be so good. The the one guy, his name escapes me with the glasses. He was like the, the last real OG creative mind there, and he just left. Once that happened, I'm like, the future of it's dead. He's the only reason that campaign yeah, in fact, so was heard, as good so as I've it heard. was. So, I mean, and that's the thing that I have to commend Stalker 2 for is its vision, even in the early days, is very clear. Like, when they started making this game, they know what they want to make. They, yeah, they, they got the blueprint. They exactly. They've got the direction yeah. for it. It's really dialing it in and making it feel polished, which is a ridiculous, mm. like, task. Like, can you imagine what it's like trying to balance this motherfucker? 64 yep. square kilometers. Well, especially what we especially what we want with the AI and our expectations just with the with the AI life alone like it is a tall order and again veteran stalkers find the charm of the bugs and stuff but obviously when you're going into a new market and especially younger markets too younger markets are real picky kid like especially like, like kids like it's all about it's got to be great graphics it's got like i won't touch anything that looks or plays like you know what i mean yeah. so they go into a new market like trying to get those other people like they really need to make sure that it's not going to come out in a release where it's buggy and people are just going to drop it and not give it another chance because like We'll all be like, fuck yeah, we don't give a shit and we'll laugh it off. But like a lot of people, like, and again, especially the younger generations are real picky about certain stuff. If they think that like it's buggy and flawed to like what other stuff is, like they might not try it again. You're 100% right. They're the same ones right now that are like, what? I'm not going to play those old trilogy stalker games. They look so old and dated. See, and I'm like, yeah, and boy, I will like, smack you around. And like, if you say that shit in my presence, like, sit down and play it. It's a fucking solid game. And it's aged it's, like wine. If that, that yes. game's like the, like a cougar of first person shooters, man. She's still got it. Okay. Yes. She's, she's, uh, she's bad. She's going she's gonna to teach you things that other games so don't. Long. Like, that's the you one, gonna like, <laughs> you going to learn today. Like, yeah, dude, like, stalker still has Except it. Except for Sky. Oh, doesn't have it. I'm sorry. Oh, bro, it's the best sky. Come on, it's so no. Cool. Your sky is the best <laughs> sky. I hate it so much. I love how. Are you playing it a week ago? I didn't like it. And, oh, like, right, high five, buddy. Clear sky supremacy. Let me get it. This side. The other side. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah you're, you're on the. 
No, I, I, I fucking love Clear Sky. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's like a janky mess, but it's my janky mess. Okay. Yes, well, agree. It's definitely not I, the best I, stalker, but it's so much I, fun. I still enjoy it's it. It's so like it's so the redheaded stepchild, but like Swamp is one of my like the beauty uh, of the Swamp map. I like fucking adore that I love map. It. Like I like again, like it's janky, but literally Swamps is maybe if not my favorite map in in Stalker. I it just is in my top five, yeah. Dude, it that is, reveal yeah, with I the E3 2021, that, that was the peak of the trailer for me. Like, oh, that yes. was more real oh, than yeah. real. I couldn't believe it. Like, when they opened with that and the voice acting for Skiff, like, just the yep. atmosphere was hitting, like, 15s out of 10. It was insane. I, I still believe that they can achieve that. Like, I, you know, the one thing that Lennox was saying is when it rains, everything looks fucking amazing. And a yeah. lot of the E3, when they go up to the chemical factories, is it was raining. It's after the fact. It's not raining yeah. in the scene, but there's all the puddles. There's all the chance for yeah. the reflections and ray traced effects. Yeah, and yeah. I agree. You have that dynamic weather. Yeah, and like the bolts and bullets, you know, wasn't showing a lot of rain and stuff. But I mean, like, you know, I made that breakdown video because I wanted to, to really get into it. And like I said, the animations are actually better. Like the gun models are actually better. E the E3 yeah. 2021 is actually really stiff because it was more of a proof of concept. Like it's a small vertical slice. And I, I even joked back in the day, I'm like, dude, if we could have access to that to that demo build, if you even turned around, Skiff would be looking at a fucking gray wall. There'd be literally nothing yeah, yeah. rendered in. They were like, yeah. we, they're like 45 FOV. They're like, don't fucking turn the camera, Sergey. Don't turn the no. camera to the right. Like we can't render it. Like, you know, like, <laughs> no, <right. laughs> yeah. like that, that was like- part of the demo. That was That's like what goes. they were, were saying is this is what the game should should target and look like when it came out. And they even talked about it in the interviews where they hit the limit with UE4 and they're like, we can't do it. We have to go to UE5. That gives me a lot more faith in the project that they were like, we can't sacrifice yep. our scope. We can't sacrifice our vision. Mm. The jump to UE5, yes. the time that this is going to cost us, the the growing pains for the new technology that Just we're going to have time, to yeah. endure. Yeah, this is going to take yeah. more time. So when people are like, oh, 2020 or the 2022 release date was never going to happen. There was so much going behind the scenes to this day that people don't really know about, which is it, 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 it's it depresses me because I'm like, man, these people are, are doing everything right. But they get all of this like undeserved criticism yeah. and some deserved, some deserved. Don't get me wrong. But when it's like bundled in with all the other stuff that you know that they wish they could just come out and be like, here's an answer. This is the actual answer to that question. But meanwhile, they're stuck behind NDA rock. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's they're stuck behind, behind a rock in a hard place because like we were talking about, they're so selective about what they they are able to say in that trailer. One minute, 38 yeah. seconds. I, I was able to break that shit down into like a like a, a, a fresh, quick, crisp, like seven or eight minutes. Dude, if they showed us something that was five minutes or longer, people would yeah. be breaking down like all the details exactly. like, come to me. I was like, oh, you can see the trees are, are bugging out in this scene. And it's probably stuff like that where they're like. They probably hated putting the trailer out with that in it. The guy who's working yep. on the trees and Nanite was probably like, fuck, I'm going to fix this in like two weeks, man. Like, come on. Like, I don't want to put this out yet. It's not ready to be seen. Yeah. Like, it's it's probably so much of that compounded. And yet they have to because you need marketing and you want to have that good faith built for the game. It, yeah. It's it's such a wild, like, clusterfuck of a situation. But I think the, I think the positive thing They have thing a big is, weight on their shoulders. Yes. You know, like being like, being, yeah. being the under being the underdog and taking the project that they're doing. But like again, I think we'll all agree at the end of the day, atmosphere is what makes stalker. So as you're mentioning, the fact that like we can't get our vision with this engine, so we need to take the time to go to the next one because like atmosphere is like, and I don't know for you guys, but it's one hundred percent like Going in that game, the visuals, the sounds, like, immediate, just, like, in love. You know what I mean? And if they fuck up that atmosphere, like, you fuck up everything. Like, yeah, you cannot... Yeah, that's one of the biggest pillars of the game. It's not something you, you cannot, can cut any corners on. And, and I've complained in my, uh, I think in my breakdown, one of the things that I find that I don't always care about with mods is sometimes the mods take out some of the original sounds and the cycles of the sounds in the... I'm um, vanilla and I love the different noise, especially at night, the different types of noise. And again, it's not like, like a lot of the mods still have like different things too, or they even add mods. Like one of them has like a, one of them has like a horde noise that sounds from left for dead or something. So like sometimes like uh, they add their own stuff, but like GSC did it so right. Like the atmosphere so right. You know what I mean? So it's like, I will wait as long as they need, because if they don't get that atmosphere, right? Like, 
this whole to me it's just going to be fucked like it, it has it, to have that it's a, it's a really good example because the, it's like bethesda games every time one comes out people are like oh the modders will fix it i'm like but that's not the fucking artist vision they need to get that right so here's the thing yep. like mods are great because you can have your cake and eat it too you can play stalker 18 different ways there's not a wrong mm. way to play i'm homies with yep. blindside Back when I was like in the earliest days of content creating on, yeah. on Twitch, homie was legit. He's like, all right, I'll give you this early work in progress VS Val. Awesome. I, like, I was like, let's fucking go. Like, it, dude, he, yeah, his work is like superb quality. Like, you know, the man it himself is. could easily be at GSE Game World. And he was even talking in the comments on Bolts and Bolts. Absolute Giga Chad super fucking dude, man. He's he like, was, man. He was, he was defending, defending it. Yes, yeah. yes, you know, yeah, dude. And I'm like, this guy sees it. And this is the guy working on the game. This is a very yeah, talented know, right? individual. He has the most to say he about knows. it all. He puts them in the game. What do you think he does? He's got to play test it. Does this fuck up the feel? Is this not like, you know, like seamless enough where it's it's my style, but the animation doesn't take four extra seconds or something that's going to inadvertently spider web its way into all mm. of the gameplay like that yeah. that takes that takes nuance and you got to be careful with that like so yeah his opinion yep. highly respected so when these people just like look at women they're like it looks like shit dog i'm like i fuck it <laughs> like it, it just drives yeah. me off the wall i'm like it's totally unfair it's super unfair i know right and we were talking about the, the the technologies like unreal engine here's the thing since unreal engine 5 has come out we're on like what 5.2 and then they just dropped the teaser for 5.3 i've never seen an engine get iterations this fast it's nuts. There's yeah. so there's so much industry adoption for this engine. There's so like even uh, CD Projekt Red was like, look, bro, we put our hat in the ring. We tried to do an in-house engine. Y'all saw how that went, right? We're gonna we're gonna quietly hop on UE now. Like, because really it makes hyper sense. Real fight. It makes sense. It can hit on most of the the gameplay approaches for projects out there that you don't need to write something custom in-house. Not everybody's John Carmack. We're not getting like these crazy tailored engines that we got back in the 90s. Games are too complicated now. So you're going to see fewer engines with more robust features getting tacked on. Yep. You'll see the best examples of that on Real Engine 5. You'll see the worst examples of that creation engine in Starfield. So yep. yeah, like Unreal Engine 5 is is is, so is the way is the way to go. I mean, GSC does so. not need to worry about the graphics right now because Q1 2024 fucking 5.3 will probably be out and some of the systems they would have had to redesign and that would have been sunk in time that they would have had to go back and update but instead they can be like nah fuck that bro we're just going to put that later on the roadmap it's not a priority right now we're trying to get the gameplay dialed in shaders Agreed. lighting all that stuff that that mm -hmm. can that can change so radically fast they look definitely just change some shaders around yeah, look yeah. what happens when you turn path tracing on in Cyberpunk. I mean, yeah. it, it's such a wild difference with one technology piece turned on, which yep. I'm not trying to understate the technology, but you get what I mean. You can really, yeah. you can change the, a scene dramatically very quickly. It's not like the old exactly. days where they had the lighting and they would just, you know, turn up how accurate the denoiser filter, whatever it is that they had, the texture filtering or whatever. No, it's like mm -hmm. radical technology shifts now when you go from like high to ultra. They're just not there yet. And if, and, and I was yep. pointing it out with the bolts and bullets that the graphics don't look consistent in every scene. It seems like some of them are maybe not as optimized and they're like, uh, turn this down a little bit. And yep. like, like his dude, the bloodsucker yep. scene when he, when Skiff gets knocked over his leg, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, dude, stalkers are the love <laughs> of my life, bro. But I will, I will call it when I see it. That looked rough. Yeah. His jeans look terrible. And I'm like, hey, okay, it's LOD popping. It's a UE5 yeah. thing. Cool. I'm not trying to judge yeah. the product like as a final product right now. Mm. But the way that people were looking at that and then doing that, I'm like, do I look at that? That's a meme. I laugh about it right now. I'm like, cool. All right. I see what yeah. you guys are doing. Yeah. Everything looks good. But people are like, look at this. This looks like shit. And I'm like, ash me outside. I swear to God. Like, don't talk about my, <laughs> don't talk about my baby like that. Like, catch, they, like it's like, lot yeah, I'm like, like, dude, you don't get <laughs> You don't get to say shit like win. that. This game is a is a masterpiece that is slept on. Like I felt the same. Ugh. It's, they don't it's so know ridiculous. the real they don't stalker. Know. Yeah, it's the meme. <laughs> stalker oh, 2 yeah. sitting in the corner of the party, and it's like, they don't know that I'm the real sequel. And everybody's over here, like, just, like, chatting, and, like, it's all shit comments. It's like, they don't know yet, because yep. they haven't been able to, to be shown. I mean, like, I saw, like, right. like yep. even with the leaks, I've seen things that we're not supposed to see. And well, What are you guys' opinion on uh, people comparing, like, now that... Tra like, the people looking at Trader and comparing it to, like, stuff like on Ornamult, Gaumult, EFE. And I really like, okay, we have already have EFE, Gamamult, uh, Normult, and now we're just a trailer, and, you know, like, they're comparing it to a to, uh, mold. Mostly. Not the originals. Nobody, yeah. nobody looks at the originals anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, um, 
Oh, be, oh no but we like the original, Summerlee or... No one even knows what the original is anymore, man. Oh. Like, and, and so, even, even people who do play original, like, it's so, like, so I was, I think, uh... I um, I mentioned it some time ago, but uh, when I did, I think it was when I did the Call of Perpia one because obviously the weapons are so janky with abnormally shit stuff. Um, and when I do pure vanilla, the way GSC intended, so to speak, it's pure vanilla. But even then, like stalker people, like really, just sometimes like do not like vanilla anymore. It's like I get that you want to do that, but like if you just add this graphic thing, or if you just add this bug thing, or if you just add this weapon thing, and it's like no. Pure vanilla. I'm like, I'm experiencing it how GSC freaking made it, which yeah. is like this. And we're going, we're we're doing the entire experience, whether it's uh, super great or not. And again, not that, not that that's exactly anything that's going to bring any people in. I think it's great for if people do want to try the games to do like simple mods, like uh, say like the complete mod and stuff like that. That one, that was a real good one just to have like the, the simplicity of like the graphic yeah. overhaul, bug fixes, things like that. Um, So that way people have an easier time easing into it, you know? I mean, but a lot of yeah, like, like people, there's, there's a lot of people who know it with no mod. You know what I mean? There's not, as you mentioned, there's not a lot of people who know like the pure originals or things like that where it has nothing. Yeah, me and Doug. Nope. Yeah, I I think um, I think the bolts and bullets trailer was heavily misunderstood, and that's why the reception was mixed. Yep. Uh, like, as you said, like people a lot. Of people complained about the graphics and comparing it to like mods. I think this was absolutely not the point. Like they're missing the point. The Bolt and Bullets trailer was made to showcase the gameplay. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's yeah. it's in the it's in the name. Uh, bo uh, Bolt represents the interactions with anomalies, yep. and Bullets represents the gunplay, right? Yep. And that's exactly why this trailer was made, and it's tied with the demo. Like the demo was made exactly for that. Like to try for people to try out the gameplay right this is so the mod support is the best thing i think thing people have been mis so we can have mis both vanilla mis s2 and what modded experience they're, they're not we want. seeing it like they they're not seeing it as as it was supposed to be or supposed to why be. it was created it was created by gsc to showcase the gameplay not for not no, the graphics but some of these mods as, as are Tom not said, good, like, like the way they say like i'm sorry but reshade i'm not a big reshade guy no, and then there's, reshade, and there, and no, then there's some mods that are, that are that are that racing good. stalk like, mod oh, if you want to play TTS tomorrow crazy hold on like the uh like an example of a good mod would be um like absolute nature or literally like yep. the mod, what i would call a mild mod or vanilla plus where it's like yeah it's just like texture uh, bumps or something like that you know mm -hmm. are we still going over the favorite mods uh favorite uh vanilla game that Hell you yeah, suggested brother. early on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, what's yours? Tell me. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a tough one, man. I'm gonna have to say, get out of here, stalker. Everybody knows I had to make the video dedicated <laughs> yeah, to it. It's the best. best I mean, the, we get all, in here, get out of here, stalker. Get the, out of the, here, stalker. Yeah, Clear Sky wasn't was enough. Like, they had to take it to the next level. Yeah, that, I played it too. It was it's, it's ridiculous. Schizophrenic beyond belief. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> It's not my favorite, but holy shit, I did have the best laughs of my life. Like, I had, I they laughed so much. They put so much thought into it, which blew my mind. I'm like, wow, the, the gameplay is actually changed so many ways. It literally yeah. feels like a, an acid fever dream approach to Stalker, yeah. but it's fresh. <laughs> I'll give it that. It was a new way to play Clear Sky. I, 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 did, the, I did the entire Band of Assault on the, uh, the machine yard with the, the throwing fridges. I just threw fridges yes. at them. <laughs> yes. I didn't use a gun. It's so good, but, yeah. oh, but when they hit you with fridges? that double barrel shotgun... Yeah, your bolts were replaced with fridges, or... <laughs> yeah, it's our, it's our fridge. Like, a refrigerator... Like, like, just to make sure, like, a refrigerator. Did yes, he refrigerator. stutter? Yep. Did he stutter? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Fuck. If you haven't seen it, watch my video, then download it immediately. It's, it's great. I, you got to try yeah. it. I am, I'm going to need to, because it does sound like beautifully chaotic. It does sound beautifully chaotic, and that's... that sounds. It great. would be a terrific have, let's play. I would definitely watch your, your, your playthrough. Yeah. That. Yeah, I'll have to... I'll have... I'll find your video. I'll definitely the, the funniest, the funniest part are the things that they didn't change. Like I remember I pulled my binoculars out and it was normal. And I was like, I wasn't expecting that. And I pulled them up and they were yeah. still normal. I was like, Oh, okay. And yeah, then, it's like a rare, rare, yeah, rare, then I pressed the jump uh, the the just funny. space bar and fly a hundred feet up in the air. It's just, so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it. I love that, that one. Ke Kev, what's your favorite mod? Uh, I actually think it's, um, Stalker Oblivion Lost Remake. 
Hell yeah. It's like, it Final feels Space. very, very stalkery. Like, even more than the original Stalker, I think. The yeah, I did. I, I, I played it recently. I, I played with uh, um, a Vector of Alienation, the uh, like remaster of Oblivion Lost uh, rework. Uh-huh. And I enjoyed that too, but it was completely different from Oblivion Lost remake. I played Oblivion Lost re- remake actually a few days ago, a week ago, for the first time. And yeah, it felt really abandoned and the zone was so hostile against the player character that you felt like you were being... It, it was a, the whole rule against you, which also kind of like... Yeah. It's a little bit unfair. I feel like people would have not liked that and played it even. It's it not really for everyone, that's for sure. Yeah, it feels I mean, like you're just thrown in and you're like a nobody. And I, yeah. I really adore that. Yeah, I like that though. I like the feeling personally. I did like that feeling. Da Vinci hates it every time I make the comparison, but it's roadside picnicky. I mean, like the novel is literally yeah, exactly, in a way exactly. Where every step is the difference between life and death, even more so. Like, uh, it, it, you know, when when you play Shadow of Chernobyl, when you first play it, you're throwing bolts like every three or four feet before you kind of get the impression. Oh, if there's not like a distinct like visual or auditory indicator of something, you're probably okay. The only thing that you can't see that's a clear and present threat is radiation. But yep. that approach, I could see how it would turn people off and other people would be like, oh, this is awesome. Like the environment's even more hostile and I have to really, I can't sprint. Sprinting is useless Like because I, there's so many unknown dangers. Like I'm hoping in Stalker 2 that we get, you know, some examples of things that I would have considered a good mod, like uh, dynamic anomalies. Like I, I, I want yep. to not go yeah, to the same area and know where everything yeah. is. Cause I agree. That, is cool. that needs to be a feature. Yeah, like you get too For comfortable sure. and then you, you feel like you know where everything is and, and a lot of that danger is taken away from you. So the the anomaly thing I want to point out to you uh, that was brought up when we were talking about the demo and I brought up in my uh, in when we were breaking down the bolts um, trailer yep. is I and it's and it's kind of funny because like it just and it does really show like to an extent like how you can diversify your gameplay and stuff like that but like when it comes to like navigating anomalies the game the original games don't ever really force you to have to really activate them and go through them like what yes. they're showing in the trailer and like you went and you mentioned there so like i literally I don't think I ever go through an anomaly in any of my gameplay. I always like you can always navigate around them, right? Yeah, you never I, required to. You, you, There's... yeah. So, so I love the concept that they might. Force it's a feature. You to play. Yes, I like the concept that they might, to an extent, force you to have those interactions where you have. Because I'm like, I dead ass. I'm like. I legitimately was like, man, like who actually goes through the anomalies? Just because like I never yeah. do that. Like I just and it, because you don't have to, they don't they don't make you really confront it in the game that I'm just like, well, who bothers going into them when you could go around them? And in my mind, it's safer. So I like the idea that they will force you to get like some timing and interaction a bit more. Because to me, like, I feel like it's more dangerous that way. Like, I mean, it's dangerous when they're all up against you and stuff like that. But like I said, like, I never went into them because why bother, like, going into them yeah. to me? Like, I think of it as more danger, so I never do it. But I love the idea mm. that they might make it to where they're going to have you confront them more in other ways that, like, again, you don't actually have to in the original gameplay. I mean, yeah. there's, like, two, like, exact ways. There's, like, one route in Shadow of Chernobyl under the bridge where you got the electric on the Mali field. You yeah. can basically throw it through there. And also, mm-hmm. you got artifact hunting, which like forces you into the anomaly basically yeah mm. so but you can but you can almost always get like with yeah, any you, of like you, the can artifacts, you can you can almost always get the art like again you got to get real close inch 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 and like that beeping is just going off in your ear like crazy but you can almost always kind of like grab something and go without like you know what i mean so like as i said like in my mind i just never bothered to play the the anomalies that way to go through them because i just think oh that it's like more risky and dangerous um but i really loved like seeing in the trailer and how you mentioned yep. too um in the demo that it seems like they'll give you the ability to where no you have to do this sometimes you have I, to time it right i think honestly in the original games it was never intended by the developers for you to just sprint through anomalies and even burn like i'm i'm sorry if i'm gonna spoil the fun for you guys but even burn anomalies like a burners have a continuous stream of fire but if you trigger a burn anomaly it goes offline sure. for like four or five seconds Okay. Are you talking about Stalker 2 in the because, demo? No, 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 about uh, regular Stalker. Um, oh, okay, yeah. 
Like bur burners are continuous stream of fire, but it only does ticks for damage once every, you know, two or three seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, the damage is done in ticks and not continuously. Yeah. Which is again, I feel like it's just a. I think it was so oversight. I think the design of the anomalies were supposed to be like you walk into them, you die. I think that's how they were designed to be. Yeah. But then as players got better at playing the games, they started realizing they can throw bolts through the anomalies to run through them, skip the entire anomaly, you know, skip the event, skip the wall, skip the the things you were supposed to avoid. And they took that to Stalker 2, and I think they turned into a feature, like a solid feature, and it's going to be implemented as a feature. I think original games, it was a side product, uh, accidental yeah. whoops, that's cool. Um, the, the bolts and bullets, I mean, like, we were talking about how GSC is so deliberate with what they show. That bubble scene, it's like three seconds of some of the, the, the most greatest implications. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes. to start, he throws the bolt, it explodes, it damages the player. So, like, right off the bat, it's not enough just to throw it at it and then just throw it at the little ones. Maybe I creep behind the corner of the door and I break that line of sight. I kind of toss that. the bolt in there so that it, it, it it's almost like tossing a grenade. Think of it this That's way. That's what I was wondering. I wonder if you could grenade that anomaly and if you, you know what I mean? That's what, what if like, there's more than one curious. bubble? What do you do when there's a room of seven of them and you throw and one and they all the other? Maybe. And now you've yeah. got tons of fragments flying all over the fucking room. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. There's so many I love emergent the, gameplay my, examples. It's my favorite thing of like the last... Uh, all the traders is just this bubble normally i love it i, I, I think love the bubble it looks so good yeah it made me want to go it... blow bubbles right afterwards i just loved it <laughs> yeah. and the fact that he's throwing bolts to dissipate the bait like the tinier bubbles again that makes me think like so could i throw a grenade in here and possibly clear? Yeah. like, ah, like again, what the hell it's it's it gives <laughs> you so much... <laughs> it's just that one too so it gives you so much in or so much questions of like how much more interactive are you making these anomalies? Everything has and a I'm consequence. So oh, yeah. uh, I mean, like, I wonder in, if you can the, the, trailer, the bubble, no. you can see the white indicator to say that that Skiff's stealth was about to break. So, uh, you know, a basic bitch might look at the scene and be like, "Oh, now I got to throw the bolts at the little bubbles. It's so tedious. Is it tedious? You got four guys trying to kill you outside, and you don't want to be spotted. So you're trying to get in this next room so you can take cover yeah. and hide. So now there's pressure. Now, like Terrence yes. said, I throw a grenade in there to clear that room out real quick. They fucking know I'm here." They just heard yeah. the explosion. So now I'm getting in the room, I'm pulling my double barrel, and I'm peeking right at the door waiting for them to come in. There's multiple approaches. The game does not give you a yeah. text prompt. The game does not say, how are we going to handle yeah. this situation? No, it's all that. dynamic. It doesn't treat and, and yeah, you like a kid. Not the, hopefully not the hints and tips of like, Yes. If you take oh. off your it's like a little yeah. sit butterfly. Yeah. Like, uh, hey, yeah, listen. That, that wasn't a demo either. No, that. Yeah. BRB be though. One there was... Oh, gotcha, gotcha. There, there was a lot of um, consideration that like the game was going to be too westernized and dumbed down when they showed the scene with Skiff and the bullet. I don't really agree with that yet. I think it depends on what they show. Yeah, and I and that's that's the main concern for a lot of people is they're worried that like again like we're, we were worried that the AI would be too easy like like my main reference is like to Call of Duty where as we mentioned like they're slow like you stand out in front of them. And they're like slowly getting their gun up. They're looking at you. Okay, let me Static, fight. You know what I mean? Cinematic. Like, Do you yeah, think yes. that they're like based on rank, like their skill, like a rookie would be worse at the gunfight compared to an expert? Damn, that's a really good question. I had not considered that once. In different tiers feel... or ranking of like bandits and other factions. Damn, like, you mean that's for, a good point. You mean for like them, or do you mean for like the NPCs, or do you? Yeah, mean like, like NPC character? like difficulty level rises with like experience level. That so you would be, be slower cool. as a rookie, for that example. That would explain what Lennox yeah, was saying. Yes, how like those yes. bandits he engaged, maybe they're they're low tier. They're fresh, 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 and just enrolled bandits. So they don't have the yeah. com the complex combat skills yet versus another bandit who maybe is a little bit more of a veteran he's still a bandit same exactly. action and affiliation uh, yeah. but he's he's more skilled he's a tougher dude yeah. he drops that better loot sense. yeah and so that he would, would be, be a harder cool. guy to kill yeah that would be interesting yeah, yeah not just not yeah. just gear but the actual like skill i'm yeah, saying he's like skills. harder yeah, ai yeah that that, that that idea of like uh npc difficulty raising with the uh, with skill and experience i i think it it has been like uh it has been suggested to gsc a lot and ever since the discord was created 
So yeah. it's not impossible that they actually said like, yeah, this is a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah, I, I felt like I always felt like the the bandits in the demo they weren't they weren't like it was not like they were absolutely brain dead. Uh, they were yeah. flanking me. Did it show but, a rank at their body actually? Uh, I didn't even loot them. I just was busy fighting them. Sorry. All right, fair. But when I was doing a <laughs> soldier <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, in the in the in the come to me trailer, we, we saw that when looting a body, there's nothing anymore. Like there's not the. I, the I you definitely have the saw name, a name. You don't have the faction. You don't <clears throat> have the, the rank. Yeah, but no rank. Yeah, you see a name like uh, on the on the courts. Like uh, there's like you know the button. It, it says oh, press yeah, F yeah. to press F to. To loot yeah, the body, loot and there's the name above that. But like when you are in the in the menu to loot, yeah, there's no either. there's no information anymore. Mm. I just saw a military corpse with a lieutenant something. It seems like maybe it's like, like in the into a, a dead military player in a demo. I, I obviously, everybody starts by the um the dog. I, I'm assuming. Yeah, the dog area. Yep. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that lines up with what Skiff says in the beginning of the trailer too, where he's knocked out. Like in the beginning of it, does it seem like Skiff is just waking up suddenly? No, I, I think, no, 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 I, I don't think that the dog part is a little bit later. That's past Skiff waking up. Mm, okay, interesting. I get the feeling that that's, uh, you know, after the whole, in, after the whole, I don't know how cinematic they're going, but I think they're, I think the dog part it's is maybe five to ten minutes after the actual uh, tutorial intro. Well, sure, I don't think this was a tut tutorial. The, tutorial. the cutscenes. I think it's like yeah. Shadow of Chernobyl, it never got in the way. It always, like, was um, it's kind of like how Half Life never takes control away from the player. You're always Gordon, except for the few times when G Man would step in, and so it was so jarring oh. that it kind of added to that moment's impact because it never. That was one of the tenets of the game that you would never break that rule. Yep. So in Shadow of Chernobyl, it was kind of the same way where you're like, oh shit, is this another dream sequence or or, or something yep. like that? Stalker Two, it doesn't look like it's always going to be the same thing it's obviously no. going to be different scenes with with people i, I think yeah like interactions with uh the other characters what worry what kind of the like i've been pretty optimistic with stalker because i'm not too pessimistic of a person but the one thing that really worried me or gave me like a bad feeling if you will was like watching the game com i um, um the ign where they show um mm. they have the interview and they show the gameplay or not they don't they show a lot of not gameplay they show a lot of the cinematics in the background um they just showed like during that interview they showed so many cinematics with like talking with other characters and i got such yeah. fucking and i love metro but i got such metro vibes and if there's one gripe i have about metro it is constantly following people around the goddamn yep. story listening to yep. them talk shut the fuck up i, I want to play bro i don't think like, that's it though play. When I saw all those scenes, I, they looked like there were there were people in their own hideout in their own base waiting around, sitting for you to come to them. That's what all, all of them looked like. Yeah, but but what my concern is, are they going to break up the gameplay to make some kind of mini cutscene to introduce that per? You know what I mean? Like, is it going they to are. be a scene where you stop the gameplay, you have this video intro and talking? Because like. I think so. I, I like the cut. Like, again, like with Shadow Chernobyl, the cutscenes were nice because you have the intro one that sets the tone for it. Yep. You got like some of the kind of fever dream styled ones that kind of give you like a glimpse into it. And then you have the end, like the different types of endings more or less. But like it kind of plays in a way like a movie in a, in a smallish way. You got like a nice kind of set for the intro. You got some middle pieces. You got the end. But yep. you're in control the entire time of conversations and your movement and right. freedom and so forth. But Yo. what they do with yeah. Metro is like, it's constantly follow this person and listen to them talk or do this gameplay. And then for this story, it's a cut scene. And it's then not you're emergent. just like, you're forced. Like yeah. the, 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 the moment focuses on like they paying attention to the character and the dialogue and nothing else can happen they during take, that time. They take control away from you a lot, which again, like, Story wise, it's nice. It play like it, it's nice having those visuals, and it's nice having kind of like the movie scenes play out. But like again Too with Metro, like I love it. It, it just it, lessens yes. the impact of the cutscenes, I think. 
Yes, like, like I think, oh, like, there we go yeah. again. Yeah, too many. If they, yeah. if they do too many, and as I said, that that was my Almost only concern was watching that in was watching that interview. Is just you see a lot of c different cutscenes, and again, they might not be big. We don't know, but I'm concerned that they're just going to try and play into the cinematics too much, where it's like cutscene, 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 where it's like gameplay. Oh, we just meet, meet barkeep. Oh, cutscene to meet barkeep yeah. or something. And you're just it, like, it, it's got to be gameplay first a, instead of the yeah, story so scenes. Like, I don't need a cutscene for barkeep. Like, you know, again, like play out the voice lines in the chat and stuff like that to where like you still kind of have that interaction. But like, yeah, if you take the, the gameplay away from me where I got to set my like my mouse down and just sit here and watch like Put the cinematography in the scenes when you talk to a player that you have voice options for. Do not put it when I'm going into, like, you know, the Borov's complex over by X-18 and I happen to walk past the trigger point with the gate and now a fucking fly-through camera part. scene shows me walking up to, like, walking the guy. Yes, hate yes, that. Yes, 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 fucking yes. hate that. When I go up and yes. I press F to chat to a key player, go ahead and get fucking fancy with the camera as long as it's my dialogue options and I'm in that moment and I'm present yeah. and involved. Because we, you Pretty know, much. Brings yes. a good point up because Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat took a step back and they forced more of that and it hurt those yeah, games. They did. Shadow of they Turtle did. didn't have those problems, but then the sequels did. And if they keep on that path with Stalker 2, it's going to be a demerit. But if they get away from that, then we're good. Like, but we're I think it's good. it's going to happen. We're going to get more cutscenes, oh, but yeah, not as bad we'll as Metro. Them, but it, Based it, on the it, demo it I played, you know, you, you get the dog scene and then you're just thrown out in the world and you can do whatever you want. Um, mm. A bit. Yeah, I, it's, just, it's just hoping they do it right. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's hoping that they don't break that immersion in gameplay, just as as Tommy said, show you walking into a base and be like, look at the visuals, and you're just like, bro, like, come I, on. <laughs> I, based on the, the uh, demo, Iri uh one, I think um, they show all the locations show with all the NPCs are very distinctly different, and they are very feel like they're very far apart from each other. So maybe there might be some few hours between each one meeting on one of those NPCs. Like, yeah. if there's a scene with Doc hours, is, yeah, not, is not like a scene where you're out in the world where you would want to be focusing on the yeah. gameplay. It's like, no, I'm going to go see Doc and wherever he's at, and I'm going to see yeah. the story be unfold. Then I'm going to be thrown back into the world. Be a and then, plot point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw exactly. just a few hours between all the areas, and it's so four or five hours of gameplay, and then one cutscene. I, I don't mind. You know, if yeah, the game is big, it, yeah. and it's like a bunch yeah. of hours between the scenes, I think we're good. I don't oh, think yeah, that this definitely. is going to be Hideo Kojima shit at all. I don't think we're getting like yeah. that much level of no. cinematic. And I think yeah. they're very aware it, that yeah. we don't want that much of that. Exactly. It would just be if they had any, like if they ended up having any kind of like story scene where like, say like, again, like Metro is the easiest example where like when you're going through the Metro and they really slow you down because you got to again, follow someone, listen, or they got to have whatever. And sometimes, especially in the beginning gameplay too, um, with the first one, it's a lot of, Cutscene gameplay, cutscene gameplay, cutscene, because cut, you know they're, yeah. they're like stalk. Like Metro really tries to build this. Like not to say Stalker doesn't build the story, but they're really focused on the cinematics and story. And again, like you know, I appreciate Metro for that, but like you just don't want that with Stalker because you want that different feel. You want that freedom that I'm in control. This it's the is pacing. my zone. This is my you don't, world. You don't want it to yeah, be like Metal Gear Solid Four, where every five minutes, no. if that, you're put into another cutscene. You can't really get comfortable in the gameplay because right as soon as you do, yeah. you're back into another cutscene. Mm, if they're yeah. but if they're if they're sparse between each other, you know, if I'm yeah. getting like a solid amount of gameplay before the next scene is oh, fair yeah. to me. And and, and, and I can't imagine like that they would like have it like so consistent, but I'm just hoping they don't even have moments where it's like you're in this one area and for whatever reason they're just really trying to push the story. So they just have like even if it's just an asserted part of the game where they got those interruptions. I just hoping like again, like they like it like the cutscenes are just well placed and well done like again every few hours of gameplay or something like that but like if they do any scene where they're stressing the story and they're holding your hand and dragging you along with it and kind of like to like push a certain story part like instead of letting you get into it yourself like that will be frustrating knowing which which scenes deserve to be cutscenes and which deserve to be gameplay I don't want yes, a cutscene yeah, of me yeah. fighting a bloodsucker. If you do that I'm gonna walk the fuck no, out. No, never. Like yeah. that needs to be gameplay. Like, Break but time it, event. Yeah, no, yo, oh, don't start. Oh, God. But, yeah, I mean, but, yeah, th that's the difference between a scene that's, embra a I mean, that's embraced versus one that's, like, that's, yeah. that deserved to be I'm, gameplay. I got, at least in a demo, when you, you don't have to kick the dog off you like, quick time event. You have to shoot the dog off you in a quick time event. It's just, like, a cool dog scene. I love this. The, so, the, the scene with the dog has so much emotion. Like, the, the fact that the, 
Like the fact that I think Skiff wakes up because he was out cold. And a dog is just chewing a random leg. For the dog, he's just chewing a random dead person's leg. The dog assumed the person's dead. Has so no doesn't, isn't aware. Yet. And suddenly he hears a click and it's like, huh? And he goes for the throat instantly because the dog knows where the throat is somehow. And it's it's just so it's just so nice. I think that's a really good cutscene. I think very nice yeah. and fun opening. When I first mm-hmm. watched it, I must have replayed that part like a million times. Just watching like the hammer click on the Makarov too, and then seeing like the, yeah. the stunned like, like the, twitch of the dog. The, the, yeah, and it's so quick too. He, it's very the dog unsettling. Very it's so lethal. Quick. Yeah, 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 like the but dog lighting looks looks kind of off. Moment. Exactly. It's a but, real good, like a kind of like classic zombie movie horror, whatever. You, you step on that glass, you make that noise, and you're just like, click. fuck, I'm so screwed right now. Like, yeah, like it's it's such a good classic kind of style, like horror moment where you're just like, I just shot myself in the foot. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was solid. I like that it. one. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, and other than the tutorial scene, it doesn't really feel like they've shown anything yet to make the game westernized. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. too, I'm not too concerned about it. Too yet. little info on it. If everyone, every, everybody that's like played the game has said that it's Slav jank right now, and I'm like, okay, good, we're on the right path. Like, yeah. like they put, the, so. they're, they're, they're putting the right features as the most I important. Couldn't. You can't push the envelope and have this level of polish yet. You just can't. Like, yeah. not that time. I will judge the next trailer with uh, with with a much heavier yeah, hand than I will with what we just saw with bolts and bullets. Same here. And I'm pretty sure we can expect that in like what December, like is they always give us something right at the end of the year slash beginning yeah. of the year. It's yep. like literally December 31st nice. or January 1st. Yeah. So I think that, I that will set a I tone because if they if they're serious I, about Q1, they have to show something three months. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. If, if they're going to at the very least tell us Q1 is going to be the next date or what their expectation is. I'm like, you can't not give us some, like if we're coming up on that, you know what I mean? Like, I, like you got to expect, you got to build that hype more and show more content if you think you're getting to your release. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, took out you said? Yeah, yeah, but we, we were all saying uh, earlier that we don't believe in Q1, so I don't know. I'm not I'm not so yes. sure we're getting something in December. Like, we just waited eight months for one minute and 38 seconds of, of, of trailer. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not Officially. convinced we're getting something in December, but who knows? Yeah. My my optimistic hope is, and again, it's just you know, like we want to we want to be optimistic. My optimistic hope when I heard quarter one is, oh well, they're so close to another April date that they're just like fuck it, we might as well try and do another April release date. So like, my optimistic hope is that they're just gearing for another April release date. And again, like I That'd know, like cool. we're talking quarter one is very optimistic, but. My optimistic idea is cool. Like they're so close to April again that they're just gonna try and do another April release date, you know, uh, and time it. Yeah, yeah. And, and time it that way. Yeah. So that is be nice, yeah. that is a small like if they could make that time work, that is my small small hope and speculation is that April. A lot of games time, release around that time, right? Put. Like I know that there's like weird times that yep. studios don't like to release. But um Oh, I'm just thinking just because common, they were right? going I was just thinking because they were going to uh, yeah in twenty two yeah they they were going to match they were going to try and match the date um to like the event and stuff like that um or it, like around it rather so I figured like you know they might try the same thing because they're close again you know what I mean again optimistic hope that if they could they'll make it an April date again if possible if it's That'd April nice. it's going to be April thirty yeah. first going to be the very last day of the month because they're going to like put that shit down to the wire. Yeah, Down to yeah, the yeah, wire. Yeah, yeah. Day one patch, baby. <laughs> Your 200 gigabyte game just got a 100 gigabyte patch. Good hunting. Ne- tomorrow. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be April cool. is Q2, no? It would be. That would be April pushing is Q2, too. No? But if they were going to show a trailer um, and they're like they were really on top of Q1 and then they said April, I don't think anybody's going to be like, but you said it was going to be a month no. before. Like, I'm yeah, like, 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 I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I just think well, someone would. There's always one. The, the date. I'm just hoping that, like, maybe they'll be like, oh, hopefully we can get it around April and get it around the date again. That's just, that's just like my hope is that, like, that's what they're going to secretly aim for. So I'm telling myself maybe, like, and again, like, it's just my own fucking mind, but I'm telling myself April. Like, maybe something will happen April, but you know, not a, yeah, you know how it is. Not a, it's it's all just a 
a coin flip and just uh, wait to see what happens. But if it's not convenient for them, help. then that fall 2024 makes a lot of sense. And like yeah. I mean, on the bright I, side, I they just dodged gonna, a yeah. huge bullet. And that's 2023 game of the year because fucking Tears of the Kingdom was was going to be, you know, a really tough mainstream right. title to fight for, to get game of the year. And I want nothing more. Nothing, dude, bro, nothing nothing makes my nipples harder than the thought of Stalker, this underdog, just coming out and being like, what's up, bitch? This is what the fucking game of the year is. Yes. And even people yeah. that have no idea of this, of this IP this year yeah, have worked, just so drop think. their dick on the table and be like, this is what a real <laughs> game is. And just make yeah. Western <laughs> Studios have to kind of ashamedly lower their head where it's like, you couldn't yes. do better than this? Get fucked. But like, that, this is what happens. No excuses. That would be amazing because I can't tell you how much I want a legitimate response to like the shitty triple a's that again what we were talking about earlier they're just monetizing everything they don't have passion for the game they don't care it's like it's every game what, too that comes way, out everything is a report and analytics everything's just a report on numbers and it's nothing more than like what can we envision so like the other hope of like obviously we all want stalker to succeed because like it benefits like our fandom and stuff like that but like it would be nice to have something maybe revitalize if possible, like what gaming can and in my eyes, like possibly should be, which is like the passion of the game itself and what you're working on as opposed to like what report says that will make the most sales off of this. And again, every company has to make money, but gaming companies used to make money and deliver products people liked once upon a time. You know what yeah. I mean? But now we're, we're in a day where it's just, how can we top that dollar? How can we top that? You know what I mean? So it's for one, it'd be nice if it sparked a fire or as you said, shame in their asses to be like, yeah, like this is what a fucking Ukrainian developers under war doing. And you fuckers are doing like jack shit. But yeah, the it other puts thing that pressure be, on the creativity. Yes. Yeah, but the other sure. thing would be, is just like, we obviously all have a love for stalker and GSC that if it did become game of the year and stuff, like it would be a possible really good future for the studio and the future of the game. More funding, if this more support takes, for a sequel, and then this, we can get Horny for Stalker 3 for the next 20 years. Yes! If, yeah, oh, if, if this can take off and if they can, and the, and I think that that could be why that they are so nervous, they are so cautious, they are so worried about what they're showing is because all the Stalker fandom is like a real niche community, right? It's not like any big popular blowing anything. Like it's it's alive because of the modders and stuff like that and like the obsessive fans. But yep. if they can break into the popular market, it'd be such great news for like all the OG Stalker fans in GSC because again, hopefully they will get that funding. Hopefully we will possibly get more Stalker in the future and we get more of the shit that we've been wanting for literally decade, like over a decade now, but you know, they just haven't had the momentum. Like the better be side of the commercialization. Like you add the actual yes. stuff that you want as long as Stalker yep. is still led by creative minds so that it doesn't exactly. turn into like what these other games are where it's, it's, like, it, like, it, it, it's it the Star nice Wars paradox. The original Star nice Wars movies the were good deserve, movies. I feel. And that's why people loved the original three Star Wars movies. They were great movies. It created this phenomenon. Now, or I'm sorry, not Stalker, what am I saying? Star Wars. Star Wars, right? So you have the original three yeah. Star Wars movies. And everybody and everybody loved those movies. And it created the brand. Now the brand sells shitty movies. They tease a new Star Wars. Everyone's like, wow! It yeah. comes out, it fucking sucks. And then they tease the next yep. one. And everybody is still going to the, the events being like, this is going to be amazing. Because the fandom is bigger than the product. The product yeah. lost its and soul. It's we just don't yes, want that. Exactly. As long as we don't get that, then sell me hoodies and t-shirts. Fuck, man. Like, exactly. I don't yeah. have and enough. And that's, the, and that's the other thing, too, is like, especially with a company that you actually are passionate about and believe in, like, I want to give you my... So it's kind of funny. Like, I don't know how you guys are as far as, like, the pre-order or don't goes. You know, I know there's a lot of heat between you should support early on and you shouldn't. And again, mainly because a lot of AAA devs are doing the we're going to give you these promises and then take it away kind of thing. But, like, I just don't get that feeling with GSC. And I'm very much, yeah. if I can support these people to make sure that they can make what I want, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to do that. Like, I'm more than content to throw a bit of frivolous money at GSC yeah. because I believe in them. I of believe course. in, like, what they're doing. And I think that they're going to ultimately do it right and their minds are in the right place and they have the right passion. And so, for me, I'm very content to gamble on them i guess if you yeah, know or invest in them it's an investment i always talk about this too like 
uh, pre-ordering a game is an investment. You need to make it as a, you need to make an educated uh, speculation on, you know, do you want to invest your money into that game or not? And people are just yeah. pre-ordering games brain brainlessly. They're pre-ordering games because they want to. There's no reason to. However, yeah. there's some games where it is yeah. investing skins. into the developer. Yeah, for skins. You can yeah, invest into like a developer, that. and it will turn your money into a better game. And I've done this with Larian Studios. I've actually, I pre-ordered Baldur's Gate 3 in 2019, Based. or I just bought it. I bought the game because I knew Larian Studios was going to make it, was gonna make it good. So I turned my 60 buck into maybe like a 0.01% better game. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's you and everybody else that has the same belief system that puts in that yeah. effort that collectively creates something that is very tangible and noticeable. And that's, there, that's but the there's difference. just no point. There's no point to pre-order a Ubisoft title or like a Starfield. Like One, I just don't think there's. It's don't need the money. No, GSE does not get pre-order money from Xbox. Xbox, if you do not have a specified release date, they withdraw the really? pre-orders, and that's what happened with the December release date. When that fell through, Xbox was like, "That's a wrap." My dad has Stalker Two pre-order for the Xbox. My dad's. That's why I do this all. My dad is mad yeah. fucking cool, dude. So yeah, that, he was like, "Yeah, they that's canceled, they canceled the, my pre-order the and gave me the money back." So the PC sales. They're, they live and die on that for right now. So yep. we are literally the grassroots of any sort of community aspect of funding other than Microsoft and anything else. So, I mean, I could, I can respect why it's so important for them. Yeah. And, and like, and, and like, as like mentioned everything, it's, you don't need to be pre-ordering like some of these certain titles where it's like, no matter what you're getting, what you get, like they have the funding or they have these other big titles that, you know, like, like there's just not necessarily a necessity to apply. I see a lot of debate or again, when I'm like on like, say something like Facebook on the official stalker page or things like that, or even a hundred Raz bar, you, you get the occasional bitching about pre-orders and people like, Oh, don't pre-order, don't pre-order. And I'm just like, and like, I'm like, again, like to an extent, like I get it because there are lots of companies these days that are breaking the trust in gamers and it fucking sucks but i'm like yep. they ruin it for the rest if, if, yes they don't they know who gsc is they don't have the additional context to give them I, the faith that we would have as an educated guess yeah, if you will they don't they yeah. just look so, at that and they're like what what difference are they going to be than any other yeah, triple a so, western so like, studio so like, like, yeah, a, great. like a true fan like knowing who they are and what they are and and feeling like they truly believe in their product and what they're trying to yep. make i like i'm very much like dude like the moment I can ult- pre-order the Ultimate Edition in America, I fucking will just give it to me. I want, no. I'm so, like if fucking Tommy's been saying, I'm so horny to give them my money. Just fucking take my money. I'm so, I want like, the backpack my- and the lamp. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's I the physical the items that you're paying for. People I, get yeah, like all yes. up in their, their panties about the price tag. I'm like, you're not just buying so the game. Cool. You're buying a, a light up, like, 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 yeah. like lamp that is really high get quality. get the Ultimate like, Edition already, actually. Bro, right. there's not one person in here who probably didn't pull the trigger on it, at least, or at least try. Well, what? The, my Dutch side doesn't the sell it, but I can, what I can do is actually buy it from a German site and actually get, put my payment in. And then uh, when it's coming, traveling from Germany to my place, it's going to take like a day, but in the meantime, I just buy a Steam key and play the game. True. And I sell the yeah, physical true. to a viewer. Isn't it available again on uh, Bold.com? I was, 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 no, was going to say, Xbox. I have to double check the links, F. but... um. I have four copies. All right, don't judge. Hold on. Just hear me out. I got four Ultimate Editions ordered, two from Italy, two from Germany. So the idea was that, God forbid, if like something fell through, with some of them, like I'm going to like there's going to be one that gets through. My my original thought was I like to do the, the videos. And so it would be helpful to have a few extra cosplay backpacks. Um just oh, just see, just for like for people yeah. in the in the videos because yeah. the backpacks look really awesome and it's it's the kind of hard and expensive thing to get like an etsy knockoff of or something and it's like official yes. gsc yeah um, yes. but those links were active last time i checked i don't know if they're slept on I, or not yeah but... so i've seen and because i have a friend in like i mean especially like when we're in this community thankfully we all seem to have friends in different places so i have a friend in italy and he's just like worst case scenario i'll order it for you like via italy and then, you know, we'll work something out as far as there. Because, like, like I'm assuming, like, we'll obviously get it in America at some point. You can point, use like, your just... U.S. account, and they'll ship it to America. Oh, you just, you, okay. you go to Amazon, like, um, .de was the German one I went to. And oh. then it'll show you the actual page listing. And then it, oh. the shipping is, is calculated. So it's, like, another, you know, it's, like, $40 or something like that. Because it's mm-hmm. got uh, to come, it has to come to you. So you're, you're going to pay for it. 
Um, yeah, I guess but, I haven't decided yet, like, if I should bite the bullet and try and order one from overseas. I would recommend again, it like, because did you remember when they raised the price on it? All my orders were the old price before they revised oh, it. Oh, shit, they had, no. they had raised the price. I think it went from 340 to, like, 370 or something like that. I, I, ah, what uh, I think happened was the retailer know, that yeah. they, they had, like, the contract lined up for when the game got delayed, they probably fell out of like their agreement window. And so they had to, uh, yeah, they yeah, probably yeah. had to like, pay the manufacturer and be like, all right, look, we still obviously want these physical yeah. items, but the game is delayed. So the, the we can't yeah, them they can't yet, make them. Yeah. If they make them now, they got to pay for a warehouse to store them and make sure they don't get damaged yep. and everything else. So yeah, I logistically can see how that was unfortunate, but yeah, that's why I would try and get locked in on a good price before something happens yeah. that you'd rather <laughs> than you because i'll totally forget i'll bug you on that link later then but yeah as i said i've just been like teetering between like do i hit it up and get it like overseas and oh, pay more or important. like do i wait it should be um i asked him about this a while ago and and they had confirmed a few times doesn't matter where you order it from italy german they're not different versions it's a worldwide version so you should be able to activate okay. it on steam and you'll get your local your localized key so cool. to speak oh okay nice but nice nice yeah, even if it, while it's shipping, the shipping could take us several days. Just buy a Steam key and uh, play that one. Oh, you yeah, can always... yeah, that's a given. Unless, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, there's no way I'm gonna be like, man, Stalker's release, but like, it's in Germany right now, no. and I ain't have it yet. But though sometimes, I like, <laughs> I guess it depends. But sometimes with a lot of releases now, and now mind you, getting it overseas, I don't know, but like a lot of companies do make an effort and i don't really know how it works with game companies but i know with other companies they make an effort that if it's a release date they ship it prior to the release date to get you on, to release, it on, the re but on release date but like again since if, if i'm getting it from germany or italy i'm going to assume that's just not going to happen one way or another you know but but no yeah if, if i ended up doing it that way 100 percent, i would just be like i like gsc enough where it'd be like here's my money i'm buying another key and you know just to, yeah just your first in line type of thing yeah be yeah, rough though, because yeah, you know just, you'd end up like, buying the ultimate edition. For... No, because I like, I like again, like we know we want the game, but like I want the merchandise, or like say it was you, Tommy, like I want the fucking merch. Like I can't tell yeah. you how much I want Stalker merch. Like you know, seeing all the stuff at like Gamecom and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, Stalker like, Two I merch just... is really hard to get. Yeah. Like all the non-stop stuff, that non-stop energy drink stuff, that was insane for me to have to go through getting. I Hey, I've like, paid I more money already than with the fucking ultimate edition costs just to get like some random swag, but it, it's GSE official, so I'll die with it in my coffin. Like, no, but, exactly. I mean, I it's see, like, like the fact yeah. that you're able to even get those because like they sold and out and like crazy quick. The fact that you're even able to get those non-stop energy drinks because they were like selling out like nuts too, and I'm like, dude, that's fucking wild. I got one of those. It's 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 a dog eat dog zone out here. I mean, you got to act fast because yeah, there's not a whole lot of official merch. I'm gonna have to hit you up on those fucking offers and steal one from you, man, and then crack. Well, you said they taste super good, huh? Too. You said that they actually have good flavor. Yeah, the watermelon and lemon. It's actually really good. And Same I heard one. that nonstop is coming to Europe too. They confirmed it, so that gives me a little bit of hope that. Uh, oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Great. Hell yeah. Well, shit, I've, got, I've, I've, I've taken three hours of the Saturday for all you wonderful, talented individuals. I guess uh, now would probably be the best time to go ahead and if there's any, like, closing topics or questions or anything that you guys want to go ahead and uh, throw in that you may not have had the, the chance for. You guys have already been awesome to, to give this much time for the podcast today, so I thank you all again. Anomalous, you got to have a teaser. You got to have some comments for us. I know you do. Okay, so... I said in your Discord server that I have a theory that I'd like to share. Let's go. Uh, something, uh, that well, I, something that I didn't put in my written report because I was keeping it for the podcast. Cool. So, I, so a lot of people, like be it veterans or new newcomers to the series, are asking the question: Why is the new game called Stalker Two? Like, why specifically the two? because mm. there's already three games and there's there were never numbers before so why is the why is this stalker 2 the usual answer is that the new game is uh is like re it's going to be different like not a reboot and not necessarily like different in a in, way yeah so it's it's going to be very different in terms of like technology much more advanced yeah uh it was already the case when it was the previous version of Stalker 2 back in 2010, right? Um, yeah. So 
there's this leap in technology and there's also a leap in the story like in the actual timeline of the stalker universe yeah, like, like the new game later, is going to take place uh i think they said doc said a decade right in the in the come to me trailer doctor said a decade but we don't know if it's no. like a decade after Call of Pripyat or a decade Since after Shadow the... Chernobyl. Yeah. Yeah. Time. We we don't really know, but it's like several years later, right? So the two marks the sleep in like both technology of the game and like the story. That's the usual answer. I have another explanation. Uh, the name Stalker is written with the capital letters and the dots between the letters, right? So no. it's not Mark like stalker, yeah. like it's not like just the usual stalker because usual like the normal stalkers <laughs> are just written like the normal world world stalker, right? The stalker with the capital letters and with the dots between the letters, this is the mark. This is the tattoo that uh, is used by the sea consciousness to mark their brainwashed agents, right? The only one we know of is the marked one, right? Yep. So the Stalker 1, so the trilogy, the original trilogy is the story of the marked one, Strelok, right? That was Yo, the original shit, here we go. Stalker. This way I that like was the original Mark Stalker, you know? You know, the Mark original one. Stalker with the, with the capital letters, with the dots. That was the yeah. first, like, real Stalker, the marked one. And all three games, even though, like, uh, in two games you don't play as him, it was basically, that was about basically his story, right? So ah, the new game, la, la, la. Stalker 2, Mark is going II. to be about a new character. A new Mark. You know, like basically Mark 2. Mark, Mark yeah. like A new character <laughs> nice. in yeah, this yeah, trope, yeah. right? That's and actually so really interesting. Now, the, second that now the, question, now the question is, is this character Skiff? And or is if it so, Strelic? I, I mean, no, he's going to be a new guy, right? Unless yeah, so it's, it's saying that this is a continuation of Strelik's story in some core and critical way. Yeah, it, maybe, it, but mm. let's imagine that it is Skiff. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. so, well, because we, we haven't got uh, confirmation when, uh, when they, if Skiff has uh, a tattoo. When we analyzed... I think he is. No, no, we, no, no, we don't know. We don't know, but that's my theory. Uh, when we analyzed the Bolts and Bullets trailer, I remember, Tommy, you were not really happy about the why the hell would I need a Bolt line right yeah because cause, cause he's you assume that yeah you assume that skiff is like experienced or he should know that already and from the previous trailers like memory. when when he was around the campfire or when he was talking to the yeah. stranger and stuff it's like this it seemed like skiff had some experience right and yeah, it's further it in the also plot. seems that he has ties with the monolith faction in the come to me trailer he has ties with the monolith faction so what if Skiff has the tattoo, he lost his memory, not unlike the marked one, again, yeah. and and he just starts off as a rookie again because he forgot everything. That's my skill. This here. all right. So this is this is interesting. <laughs> so we we've seen the intro with Skiff coming in on the truck with Herman, and then and then he's in the zone. It's alleged that he he doesn't know anything. Hence he makes the comment with with, with the bolt and whatnot. Um, but. I think Lennox, at one point you had you had described that it seemed like Skiff didn't know something in the demo, like he he had not an amnesia, but he he didn't have like a sense of place or something like that, or maybe that was a comment someone else made. But I'm, I'm getting I'm a lot of wondering if that I get a lot up. of mixed feelings from the game in general. It's hard to place what they're going for with Skiff. What if I'm just telling uh, Strelok went to America, got an American accent, went back for a shampoo model show, and it's like he like basically hit his head, got sent back to the truck by uh, Scar, who's still alive, mind you. Oh my god! And then he turns into Skiff. <laughs> That's why we waited 15 years. That's the story we deserve. Went to America, so. came back. Coming got, to got America. Back, got an East Coast <laughs> I would explain the accent and I would explain his shampoo model friend. <laughs> the the, the yeah, main annoyance that, uh, that I had with the bolt scene um, is like the imp like I, I like how Shadow Chernobyl doesn't tell you to throw bolts and anomalies. It, it gives a player the tools and it says go figure this out or die trying. And it's like the, the gameplay teaches the player. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's open yeah. and it's all on the gameplay. 
the kind of trial the, by fire. If it's if it's just a tutorial and it just happens to be like a light beat story scene and then the game leaves you to figure out your own devices for the rest of the the time as you go on, I can live with that. That's totally fine. If it's indicative of more hand holding features, then I do not fucking like that at all. I don't like that aspect because even at that point that Skiff wakes up next to the dog, there's enough of an assumption I, in my mind that he has encountered an or multiple anomalies because even in the intro after the truck, you see him with the topaz on his back with the arch anomaly right there before the trailer good. ends and it cuts. Yeah, it's it's that's what I mean. It's, it's weird. I mean, we're getting cool flags of information, I feel like. It yeah, could that's be where like I won't ex- draw a conclusion, but I'm very... Um, I'm, it could I'm be like an ex monolith soldier, like in Call of Pripyat, for example. They're basically like, well, I don't know. We're just here, I guess. Woken from brainwashed. Away. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah I mean, that would explain like the monolith stuff. Yeah. That was sick. Dude, yeah, he was literally like worshipping the fucking trash pile, wandered away from it and got his fucking mind back and was like, what the fuck am I doing here? When they wake up, though, I don't don't worship the trash. they have like a basic like reminisce of the time that they were under control, though, right? Like Skiff should have some sort of idea about that, unless there's some sort of story reasoning for, for why he wouldn't. But uh, to go back on the tutorial thing, like learning how to throw a bolt uh, and then in a demo, apparently... They just let you go and you're gonna fight mutants for your first time and uh, kill dogs and kill bandits and basically experience the other two thirds of the game is fighting mutants and fighting stalkers without a single tutorial. I you you think there'll be a tutorial on fighting dogs and bandits, but that's not, they just let you go. I feel like yeah, that's good. And, and if they're they if they're focusing on and... like triggering Sounds anomalies like... to to move through them and having more mm. complex interactions with that. That maybe is actually more of like a veteran player thing to make you. They say, just have hey, to show the player. Yeah, like hey, don't forget you can trigger this to get it yes. to be movable like before got too, it resets. That's actually okay. Yeah, people like, got too I first frustrated. Saw it, I, I didn't, I didn't like it, but I after watching it two hundred and seventy nine times, I was like, okay, like I've warmed up to it. Like I've got a little bit more context for it now. You know, I just needed yeah. to yeah. drill it into my head like a lobotomy and just like force the trailer down my throat over and over and over and like. Hunt for scraps of information and be but, like, all right, all right, I'll give it a pass. Moment so, of brainwash. So <laughs> yep. when uh, when Sh- 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 or Skiff is on the rooftop with uh, Mr. Uh, smooth Hair, what, what's his name? <laughs> Shampoo <laughs> Hair. Sir, yeah. Sexy yeah. Stroy, yeah. as I like to call him. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, who do you guys think he's talking about when did he suffer? You know, who is he talking about? That Strelok? About Strelok. Yeah. They're Strelok. thinking, uh, yeah, wasn't he supposed to be Strelok at some point too? Like, yeah, was people, people, there right. was a theory that, that he had. Yeah, I was like, he doesn't swap. look nothing no. like Strabble. <laughs> yeah, the people surgery. were saying that GSC did it to throw people off in the final game. He won't have hair on the scene. I'm like, that's bullshit. If that's real, that's a meme and a half, dude. They're good. There's dude. gonna be L'Oreal memes with like, like before <laughs> L'Oreal and hair? after with like the hair loss how and shit. Yeah, okay. How would you get hair extension? How would you hair extend a widow peak in the zone? Like, I, I guess you can kill some mutants, you know, kill a dog, t- tape it on. This sounds like a on one hour hair. anomalous video breakdown on, on Strelix hair, and I am so ready for it. <laughs> 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 Maybe he reached uh, a wish granter and just wished it back. Well, he he said the zone gave like, me a new life. I assume that luscious black hair is a new life for him. No. <laughs> yeah, Strelik well, I mean, was it, it, sad to be single in the zone for so many years, so if, he finally if got his hair. If they're going to be adding women to the zone, there's also still probably not many of them, so Strelok's like, look, like, I gotta stand out amongst all the others, dude, to get these bitches. Like, I or thought it was Leon S. Kennedy. Or else yeah, with the blood, like or with the blood suckers and shit with freedom or some crap. You know what I mean? But other than that, like he's like, no, I gotta get my, I gotta get my game on, or I'm not gonna be picking up any women, stone women. I'm just gonna pick on blood suckers. The Kennedy, the theory makes a lot of sense. He's like, you know, Resident Evil, is, that IP is is bled out. So the zone gave me a new life. I'm I'm, I'm over here with GSC Game World now. Yeah. He just character hopped into another franchise. <laughs> he's like, it's better over here. They're on the upswing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. That's good. Anyone else have any uh solid closing comments? Theories? I am all uh, for a good schizo theory. I, I just gotta say we're getting too much conflicting information from, from the traders and the pieces thrown together. Get which is out good to hear stalkers. Yeah. I think it keeps you it keeps you guessing, but the problem is is that's all we can do is like we just speculate. There's Back so to many, speculation. so many, God damn it. so many. It's just kind of 
like it kind of feels like they'd answered some questions, but now we also have more questions, more speculations. Stalker has always been like this, right? Yeah. Mm. Like you, you meet the C consciousness guy. He answers some of your questions, but so, so many more lying. pop up. Stalker, oh Stalker is the true psychedelic experience. Yeah, Answer four questions, answers, get so. twenty new ones. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope. Yeah. I hope Stalker two. Okay, so I hope Stalker two isn't a conclusion. We don't get like, oh, they're shutting down the zone. They stopped the growth. That's the end. You know. I hope that's yeah. kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It will be like shit of Chernobyl, and then they'll add DLCs onto it. Like Clear Sky technically wasn't called Prip yet. Yeah, we don't. Like, like, in a do different DLC location within the zone. Oh, yeah, the it one could be super that... open. They could just like do a scar so. or, or a major type of thing where. The, how would you know that, Tommy? I don't know. I don't. I legitimately <laughs> don't. But like theoretically, they could roll the timeline back from like whatever the ending is for Stalker Two. Give oh, you another like, character. Cool. They could, yeah, Pretty, yeah, try, yeah, yeah. Or like yeah, uh, they could just be like, this took place this time. Let's right. play out this story or prequel it or something. Yeah, um, they've got options. I uh. Well. One one thing I wanted to talk, or one of the things that interests me that we haven't got really anything on besides, I think they posted something about it a long time ago, like a like a cat, like a new kind of cat mutant or something that the, might the have beer, the beer, that, oh yeah, the bayoun, the bayoun. I didn't know how to say it. So like one of the things that I've been really hoping for with Stalker Two is a more like a new innovative mutant like i don't like like again like it, oh, you can't just point. have like another cat you can't just have another cat that's like the cats that are already in the zone you know what i mean like so when new, I was looking up, yeah you want something so when I was that's looking a new up, gameplay yeah I mean, like the, the 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 mutants are always add such fun to the zone and especially like we've seen with bloodsuckers or chimeras they can add a good level of fear and surprise even to areas that you've been before but like you still want something new with the new game right yeah, you don't they're want super it, important you don't want you don't want it like like you still want like you Story want leak. classic stalkers if there's to a, a controller extent, but, like, and everything we saw was like, just a cc illusion and for me one of the new experiences that i really want is like a good mutant and they teased a new one but like i'm really hoping that they make them different you know what i mean so like when i read the lore on that i think they were talking about like the the lore on those cats or something like that is kind of like they can lure people to their deaths or something so if they have some kind of mechanic where you can get like tricked out or think that you're hearing like a fellow loner call to you and you're yep. like being lured into like a trap or something like like i need some i need new yeah. i want like at least a new mutant but i need new mechanics too you know what i mean like you can't yeah. just be like here's another type of cat that just like claws at you yeah i like the idea of the scenario yeah. like had but instead of the dogs and it's like you hear a stalker calling for help in the building you go in there's no stalker it's a yep. it's a bayoun like ambush yeah, it's like the Burrs think... kind of have that too in Call of Pripyat with the crying. Yeah. We also yeah. already have news of uh, another mutant. It's like a mutated moose with psi powers, but or elk. Oh yeah, the deer, the deer, the deer. Yeah. The deer. The psych deer. Yes. But I yeah. really want to see I... how those come out. But I'm just like, yeah, I'm really please don't be a controller not... copy pasta or something like that. Yeah, no. I'm really yeah. like, I'm really hoping that like, not that we just have something new, but like. And I don't know not exactly like what I want per se, but like I'm just hoping that they think of something innovative. Like even if it's just one or two new mutants, as long as they make sure that it's like they give them a little extra something. Like as I said, if there's a way that element. yeah, if there's a way that they can be like like again, like yeah. it makes me think of like uh I always get them confused, but like skinwalkers, windigos, whatever one that like can imitate people, give the look, but they're they're stiffer. You know That's what I mean? That's such a cool like, idea and mechanic. I really like yeah, the idea of like so a a siren call luring you into a yeah a bad position. Yes, I think that would like like it because as you said like if they just do like another psi mechanic like we have a couple of that in there like and again that's neat but like you gotta make it different. You gotta give us. Something that it's not like this could have been a bureau or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're just throwing objects or something. This could have been an email. One of the other mutants could have we'll handled see. it. Like it's gotta be, it's gotta we'll be a fresh see. approach. One of the other mutants could have handled this. So like, why? Yeah, yeah. I, Honestly, I think uh, I'm not too, I'm not too worried about that. I think they will surprise us with the mutants. I mean, yes. I hope, the flesh, I the flesh can, really. the flesh can jump now. So like, yep. yeah, they're all right. I think they're, they're on the good path. What I, really want, I think yeah. so far the, the the hardest thing to grow here. I think the the stalkers, the enemy combat, the AI bandits and stuff. 
are going to be relatively far behind compared to how much the mut mutants are going to grow in uh, you know, com complexity and depth and hopefully more fun to fight mutants. Yeah. And also normally seem to be more fun to deal with. So normally the mutants are getting the biggest touch-up. I think stalkers and finding enemy stalkers, they're going to kind of fall behind uh, in the complexity because in originals it already was peaking. So you, you can't repeat really top yeah. uh, in my opinion. Yeah. I was gonna say they already like we already liked a lot of what the ai had we just kind of want them to still bring that to the table maybe polish it to where like you know they don't do the whole thing where they just stare at a wall and that's yeah. what they're doing or yeah, like, when like, someone's like, injured the and like 10 of them are aiming at him but nobody kills him uh, that, and then he can't talk to anybody are yeah. like your equal but then you got the monsters who are like different right yeah. they like spice it up that's agreed yeah i don't think anyone would complain if like we got what we had with a little polish yeah. Yes, exactly. But, but it's but I it's really want to see like new mutants and different gameplay with them. Just because again, yes. we love the mutants; they are great. But like, if we have the same gameplay with them, that's going to be disappointing. And again, there's some yeah. things that are going to be similar. Like I like like stray dogs. There's only so much you can do with essentially like a basic kind of. Yeah, they have the largest that's fine. growth. That's fine. They they have yes, more, more more chances yes. to be re reinvented. Yes, yes, because, humans do the same fucking things humans do. They take cover. They shoot at you. What's it gonna exactly. do? Come up and bitch slap you? Like they can't really get dramatically new attacks yeah. as a human exactly. being. I agree. Exactly. So it's like you know I think like the bloodsucker might be like again like we were talking about the bloodsuckers like the face of the mutants. And probably because the bloodsucker has the most unique way and the fact that he can kind of grab you in a different way and like I don't know suck your soul out whatever he does. Like that's <laughs> Tommy's thinking of other shit. Freedom guy over there. Anyway, but so like you just take like a concept where it's again you make it like you make it like that. Calm down, Tommy. You make it like that, but like again, you just give them a little extra oomph that makes you like you gotta yep. be careful of this. Like they can't get you got it. Like that's I what want I my blood like, suckers, I'm, dude. Yeah, mutants are High important. High five, brother! <laughs> High five, brother! Hell <laughs> yeah! He's excited, he's excited for it. He's like, he's like, man, I'm on that blood sucker train though, too, man. I'm like, I'm excited. You can't wait to go back. Sucker. Freedom gang. <laughs> Okay. Sure, yeah. uh, I love how the I other Freedom member here wanted... also brought wait, wait. The, the shirt with the same so, so, logo. So not to throw us off on a totally different track, but like, if anyone was a faction, like, what is your faction then? Like, 100% for you guys, like, Freedom would be the faction? Or would it be something else? Renegade. Military, technically, for me. I like but Underdog. I really like Freedom and Duty. I'm a huge fan of the Underdog, Military, and May Loner. Don't you Renegades? Mean ISPF uh, or whatever? That because Gamescom yeah. confirmed that. I, I can talk about that. I, they well, gave patches I, out to people like, who played the demo. Yeah, I like the military's well, been rebranded, Lennox. Just if you didn't, oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah so yeah, in yeah. the game, they're now the inter. Uh, so, all right, Da Vinci's probably got the acronym, I always forget it, but it's basically like zone, zone perimeter. They, they, they try to change it. Yeah, I think it's because they didn't want the military to have such like a comically yeah. antagonistic look when they are Ukraine yes. soldiers. Yeah. I think that was also yes, 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 yeah. They they were wanting to reapproach the way they 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 that treat looks, that faction. Yeah, yeah. even Call of Pripyat, well, you know, you played as military, and there was more depth to that faction. Yeah, well, especially yep. because like in the prior games, the military is just like fuck these guys in our zone, cordoning parts off and shit. We don't like, get paid enough for this shit. Yeah, yeah like, the military has like a <laughs> very negative connotation. International perimeter security like, force. Military bros, fucking Thank you, Armageddon. That's trying it. to control the trying to control the zone and shit like that. Where like as again like with the political climate and stuff like that. Obviously, they've changed the name of the game, but like there's also starts. Or it's like as you said, like they're probably going to rebrand that, especially because like you know I don't think anyone really thinks well of the military in that game, and they're probably like you know we don't want that. <laughs> you don't quite want right. that look so much. You know, especially going into like what like you know because they have to be. uh conscious obviously of that they have to be conscious of that shit going on unfortunately yep. it, it is a double positive yeah. because it gives them the opportunity to make the faction less immediately hostile to you just because you're a stalker and maybe you can have some interactions with you know people and get yep. quests yeah. or something like that instead mm -hmm. of just cool. having them yeah, be yeah i mean so far we've only seen like them in form of dead corpses so yeah just just to say <laughs> the one thing they added to the game that's now confirmed because it was on that card that was at Gamescom. I'm not, Lenny, it sounds like you only got to shoot at the bandit, so you probably didn't get a chance to use it. 
it's annoying as shit because it's in the trilogy. The only difference is you can't do it. And when you get too close to an NPC, they'll smack you in the face with the rifle. Yeah. Now they have a bash key. So now I can run up and be like, what's up, bitch? And just fucking Sick. pluck a bandit in the head. So they if your gun jams, melee maybe melee you can go for the That's maybe cool. you can go for the melee. Yeah, the v, v is melee. Melee would be, that is one of those things where melee would like without having to get your knife like again like your yes. weapon jams in a yes. your weapon jams in a fucking like a, a mutant jumps at you and you're just like you want to fucking do something but like without taking out your knife you can't so maybe like, it's just a dog melee, something you can reasonably kill no something that you or or again even if it just or maybe, maybe bayonets back or, or just push it back oh, yeah, or, push it back or something let's go yeah a bayonet attachment cool. would be fucking sick. Be feasible, feasible to work in his engine. Dugo died. Oh shit! Oh. Are you snoozing, son? Okay. Uh, but do you guys think the zone is actually expanding, Starker Two, or is it again a lie? But but in the trailer, we kind of get the feeling like the zone was stable, and then it started expanding yet again, and, and maybe the, again the guard, perimeter guards got surprised and wiped out. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because weren't they talking mm. about? Man, I feel like it's been a bit since I watched the, the shampoo hair guy, but wasn't he more or less talking <laughs> about like the zone being out of control again or trying to control Sorry. the zone or something like that? It's it's been a it's been I a have a theory. Time. I have a theory. Maybe okay, yeah. uh yeah. when Strelok went to the center of the zone, he had so much vodka to like protect him from radiation protection. So he went to the seacon and he like misfired everything and then he walked out thinking, Oh, I did my job. Yeah. Walks in, yeah. misfires, <laughs> we'll never know. collaborate, <laughs> leaves. Oh, no. I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I got them. That was, they looked, I hit the tank, I think. All right, guys. So, yeah, so, I mean, you have no confirmation <laughs> on that. Oh, we have the confirmation. Passes out. Nation, come to me, trailer. We saw them dead. Dead. And the zone is oh. expanding. I mean, it would I make mean, it would really line up well with the map being much larger than the old games. They could say, yeah, because well, like, a lot of the whole thing is that no one ha is getting control over the zone and they're struggling and and like and it seems like human interaction makes it worse. Like the more people try to like contain it or whatever, it seems like the zone responds viciously. You know what I mean? So uh, to me, like I, yeah. I I would assume it's more likely the zone would be still in a state of being out of control and especially because like and then it would give you openings for like if they can continue the series of eventually leading up to i guess controlling the zone or i mean it'd probably be better to never get to that point and just to have like like i guess a bad ending where the zone just like Farts. takes over or something yeah it's, the zone <laughs> just takes over i don't know but it would be cool as hell to if like you had the original scope of the zone and then since it had widened and enlarged, you can see like the difference between the perimeter and the deeper parts of the zone as it, it had expanded. Like if it showed on the map, like if, if they show like a, this is like our a like ring. original point. Like, yeah, like, like, yeah, if they show it, like if they had something on the map where it shows like, It'd be this like is more what dangerous. Zone, yeah, this is the zone. And then these are our areas that are not well explored. We don't know where anomalies are. We don't know what mutants are like housed there because the zone expanded and yeah that would be real neat that would be a cool thing to do yeah and again because you want new content so like trying to either control it or stop like the the or have it to be where like the the, the premise would be where the it's under some kind of control like you know it, it would definitely i would assume hinder our ability to get any kind of new maps and give us like some new visuals like and not completely obviously but it definitely gives more to work with right Good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just counting like, the seconds. Like, right. Cool. Well, did any, did anybody have anything that the questions or anything that they wanted to ask? I know we, we bombarded Ooh. the shit out of Lennox. He's been such a good sport. We must have like hit him Dude, with like yeah. 75 fucking demo questions. He's like, what do you cool. want me to tell you? I ran in, I shot the bandits, and the game crashed. And I'm like, yeah, the yeah, like, crash so screen. Uh, tell me the RGB <laughs> color value of the leaves. I need to know. I'll paint, paint the you know, image I, of my mind. He's like, what part of 13 minutes did you all not understand of the game crashing? Yeah. You know, like, what part of that oh. did you not Yeah, get? no, right. Dude, this, I do have a question. When it crashed, did, did it look like the old X-Ray error or was it a UE5 box? I, that might be my, like my, my memory, like trying to make it even funner. I, I, saw, I thought I saw the green bug, but 
Oh, that'd be lovely. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it's funny if they did that, but oh. it, like that might be my memory just trying to make it funnier. But but yeah, you're not certain. Yeah, that'd be cool though. I, I swear I would laugh. <laughs> you're, you're like I can't tell if my brain is filling that in the blanks or not. Uh, right. Fabricated memory. We'll have to see. That would uh, if they if they put that little touch in. That's perfect. Dude, yeah, uh, that'd be cool. All right, yeah. stalkers. I think it's lunchtime. Time to it's time to get out of here, stalkers. Uh, any it's any bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Everybody's in a different time zone right now. Yeah. about to go to bed. Yeah. yeah. It's one twenty two p.m. So it's actually kind of lunchtime by me. It's one twenty two. So. Not too Snoozing far time. Off. Yeah, it's tourist yeah. delight, sausage and bread time. Yeah, yeah. Well, good, uh, good chatting with you, stalkers. Yeah, was, yep. I am, I'm very happy I was able to to get everybody together for this episode. Uh, yeah, thanks for, for thanks for being here, guys. That was That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, you guys kick yeah. ass. Thanks everybody. All right, good hunting, stalkers. Good hunting, stalkers. Hunting. Good hunting.